G'day and welcome to Stream of Chaos. My name is Dave and I will be your keeper of arcane lore for this session of Call of Cthulhu. Uh, today we are concluding chapter two of A Time to Harvest. Uh, you can get your own copy from You can get your own copy of this great campaign from chaosium.com. Uh, all the previous episodes we've recorded are all available over on the Chaosium YouTube. And if you want to join us live, we stream each Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific. Uh, this is the final session of the chapter and we do have a surprise ready which is why all of my co-stars are a little uh obfuscated at the moment um we're also planning to run a little bit longer than usual so strap in for that um we're currently planning to run for about an hour then take a 10 minute break and then uh push on until we finish like the whole thing won't take any longer than three hours at the absolute most uh but we shall see uh then uh next week we'll be returning for chapter three um and as we're beginning a new chapter we'll also be doing a giveaway so if you want to win a copy of the uh time to harvest pdf make sure you tune in next week for that and we'll also have details of that going out for the youtube people who might want to jump in and see what's going on uh finally i'm also hugely pleased to announce that we are beginning a brand new RuneQuest campaign which is coming this next monday uh james my blurry uh katie to the right will be running i will be playing and we're also joined by this incredibly talented cast which includes london carlisle bridget jeffries and cynthia marie um so like all of our call of cthulhu games it'll be broadcast each week on twitch uh and then uploaded for posterity on the chaosium youtube uh so it's this coming monday 3 p.m pacific uh so we really hope we can see you there uh without further ado thank you to roll 20 and sirenscape for being great tools which we use to run our game and now let's set the scene so it is uh 6 p.m on saturday and uh, along the Miskatonic campus, uh, the sun is being to set. You can see cars arriving, some taxis, some um, hide vehicles, and some personal that are being parked, and students are beginning to flood out and gather on the lawn. The sun is setting, it is a clear night, and the uh, grass is bathed in orange hues. Security has been no the, the noticeably increased, um, but you can see some of the like volunteer students are moving about throughout the area, um, giving refreshments and making sure that they're being well tended to. Uh, we see Chaz uh, rush into the Orn Library with a bundle of outfits, uh, the costumes provided for the uh, investigators so they can get inside, and then the door shuts behind him. Outside, students begin to head towards the, uh, the Robert Carter Memorial Hall for the event, and inside, our investigators get changed. One by one, they begin to step out, and we see them coming outside. Uh, Art, do you want to begin, and do you want to introduce Sebastian for us? And also describe uh, Sebastian's outfit for the dance. The most important part. Hi, I'm Art, uh, and I am playing Sebastian McCarthy, one of the McCarthys at the Miskatonic University, and it is, in fact, Sebastian's family's wardrobe that's been <laughs> raided for the occasion. So Sebastian, at least, is in a very well-tailored, well-fitting, white tie penguin suit. He's got the, the white bow tie, uh, the appropriate low uh, waistcoat, black buttons down his shirt, um, the satin lapeled black jacket with tails. He's still got his silver topped black cane uh, that he is using a little heavily. And for anyone who is curious, I will share a link in chat uh, of Gary Cooper, uh, who is my inspiration for Seb in this game. And you can get a very clear picture of exactly the kind of rakish attitude that uh, Seb walks out of the door on, I believe. Maybe not quite like offering an arm to, for the simple reason that she's far too tall. But alongside uh, one delightful uh, company. And speaking of which, uh, Alex, do you want to introduce Joe? Uh, Joe is uh, wearing a dress for probably the first time in a couple of years. It's just not practical. Uh, she is not doing awesome uh she is wearing a lovely flapper headband to cover a mysterious rash that she got from uh getting a little up close and personal with her best friend before shooting him in the face with the shotgun yep. uh and is doing about that good uh she has requested specifically of chance to bring her a uh large handbag of belonging to somebody in seb's family uh and the case that she pilfered from the science department and before exiting and for the for the dance she uh transferred some of the uh, some of the belongings in the case into her handbag mm -hmm. uh, and is now kind of 
there was a, there was a moment coming down the stairs where she was like, uh, "Seb, just do it." Went, mm, no, uh, because she's also still fairly injured, and the logistics of all of that are just not not going to work for her. Uh, where Seb is confident, how is Joe feeling? Um, normally, if this was if this was a normal dance on a normal evening, Joe would probably be exasperated. Yep. Uh, you know, she probably just wouldn't go. Uh, but tonight she is determined. Yep. She is kind of very, very focused. She's not really thinking about the dance at all so much as she's thinking about, uh, well, vengeance. Okay. All right. Uh, so Seb and Joe gather on the lawn and next out comes, uh, Jackson playing Chaz. <laughs> Sorry, who? I don't, uh, I don't know any chairs. No chairs going to this dance. I guess. Uh, I guess if, uh, if 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 there was such a such a strapping young lad as a Chaz Dedrick going to this dance, then he'd be dressed in. Uh, can you hear me? Because <laughs> it sounds all from my end. Yeah, you're good. Uh, he'd be dressed in whatever jacket somewhat fits that he found in the McCarthy's apartment, whatever garish red bow tie you can find that he hasn't figured out how to tie properly. But also, it's a theme dance, right? This is his idea from the last it episode. Is. You can either come in formal wear or in Arctic, Antarctic expedition wear. So he's got a big furry hat and some snow goggles and a scarf wrapped around his face. Because he's not supposed to be seen anywhere on campus, because he's currently wanted for murder. But it's fine. It's a perfect disguise. No one will know. Holy shit. Uh, sorry, I need a minute. <laughs> um, <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, you were so, fucking everyone uh, else, mate. Uh, so and we knew you were going to do that. I know. <laughs> but I wasn't Chaz looking okay. at I could only see the blur for a bit, so he threw me. Um, so uh, Chaz <laughs> comes down, uh, uh, and on his arm is James playing Katie Wilkes. Behold. <laughs> Gorgeous. My amazing outfit. I am Katie Wilkes. I have found a wonderful outfit that I had to scrabble and scratch together because my twin sister, Violet, who is very popular and who is on the organizing committee for the dance, is wearing something spectacular. So I have copied this fantastic outfit and I'm feeling very happy in it. And I'm being taken to the ball by Chaz, or at least this tall, dark, mysterious stranger, which is just as good. Gorgeous. Phenomenal. Uh, is the dress very much like what we're seeing here? A black sort of prom Yeah, number? I think it's, I think it is. It, it, it's, it's very, a little, a little risque. It's nice. It's exactly what Violet would wear in that it is, you know, trying to get across all, it's gone for the formal aspects more of the, uh, than the, um, polar, uh, affectations. The scarf is just a, a little note of that. But yeah, I think, I think, uh, it, exactly this kind of number. Uh, is Katie, ex is Katie excited to be going to dance with someone? Uh you know what? I think I think she probably is. I think that there's very much, oh, I don't think about that kind of stuff. I'm too busy with my studies. I have no time to consider. But then now that it's actually happened, it's actually kind of lovely. Yay. And she's very happy to be here. Fantastic. I'm so excited. Um, so the four of you gather on the stairs just outside the Orn Library. Uh, you can see there's a lot of students. Pretty much everyone's come into campus today. And normally uh, there'd only be about like, you know, 50% capacity, but everyone's here. So the quad is filled with students talking and gossiping. And you can see them all slowly making their way towards the large multi-story Robert Carter Memorial Hall. Um, as you go outside, you see Napoleon the Mastiff begin to stir from his um, slumber me in to wake up and take up his position overseeing the library um and as you leave uh professor morgan uh will walk forward and secure the doors no one's gonna be coming in or out of this facility uh during the events as they don't want people like you know getting rowdy with the uh, in in the bookshelves um you can see there is a long line of students and their dates lining up towards the front. Uh, at the entrance, there is uh, there are two student volunteers, as well as a fairly bored-looking professor and what is actually a local cop uh, who is posted up to check people coming in and just make sure things aren't uh, uh, too much, I suppose. They're probably mostly looking for liquor. Uh, you can see from the distance, uh, a couple people are getting, like, bag-checked equivalent. Um, but it's not like a full-blown pat-down, and most people are walking through just passing over the ticket and going through confidently. Um, there's a risk you get spotted going that way, but, uh, probably you'll be okay. Um, 
uh, additionally, you can see around the towards the back, there's a couple students sort of like uh, fanned out. They're just smoking uh, towards the rear, and a large catering van rumbles across the street and begins to head round to the rears. Where um, uh, who have you done volunteer? And have any of you done like like school volunteering work? Like at, at the Miskatonic, it's not really your speeds. Is uh, it? I, I might have Excuse once to try me? and get extra credit on, a, on an assignment, but no, largely no. Yeah. Okay. All right. There, people volunteer have... for me. I don't volunteer. Exactly. For okay. People. Well, then there's there's probably another have, entrance somewhere. I might have somewhere. had to have done some volunteering, being a scholarship kid. That's possibly true. Like that might yep. have been part of the the scholarship deal. But... Some of the kids get do like paid work um for these events mm. you can see a couple like going around and checking things and um some of them will be volunteers with the the cheer club or whatever it's called but others will be paid to be staff or wages for the evening um there will be a, a a second entrance where they can bring in all the catering and also probably where they run like the band kids through and stuff <laughs> um so you can have a look through that way otherwise all the windows and things are closed and anyone who's lurking around there is kind of like shooed away by some of the heightened security um mm. what are the four of you want to do I feel like going through the back entrance is just gonna is just gonna draw more attention. We're dressed to attend. We should just attend. Absolutely, try and bluff our way through. Yeah. David, can I quickly make a kind of retroactive listen check or something along those lines? I'm hoping to see if over the last couple of weeks or even I don't know months, if it was that much planned ahead, if I was able to pick up the name of who Violet is going to the dance with so that I can refer to Chaz as that person. Absolutely. Uh, I don't think it's going to be listen, because she only got back. Do you want to give me, I, I would say charm? Charm? Or what? something uh, like a social Could I check? help? Could I yeah. help? It, like yes. being yeah, I mean, her, like if I'd have seen like a, something in, in her diary, like being oh, her oh, roommate. You could have just, just talked to her. You don't need to go <laughs> through a <her> diary. <laughs> Had a conversation. No, Sorry. yeah. <laughs> Charm with a bonus die? Is that what I'm hearing? Sure. Or, or Joe, if you want to make the roll, we can we can pivot it and you Ooh, can lean over and say... T- that's a terrible not, idea. Not big on time. Um, uh, and Persuade's no. kind of weird for getting information out of someone yeah. in like a personal... Oh, if you're asking what your about... roommate who they're going to the dance with, it's not really a Persuade check. Yeah. Although for Joe, she's pretty abrasive, so... <laughs> can we... Persuading it... No, we do not we, want me to do can that. We use a, can we use Intimidate? No. Tell us who you can... <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> Um, okay, I'm making a charm roll. With Go, the for Go for it. Go for it. Okay. Okay. All right. Ah. It's not a fumble, but it's definitely it's a fail. Not a success. Unfortunately, you don't know. Um, I mean, for one thing, Kate, uh, Violet's probably volunteering in some level. She's on the mm. committee, so she might have brought someone, but you don't know. Yeah. Okay. Damn. All right. Well, I guess in that case, we just try and bluff our way in, right? I mean, that's our best shot. I was actually gonna ask, um, is there any opportunity to have Arm- um, Armitage, like, write us something to be like, oh, by the way, these students are cool, like, do not fuck with them, kind of. Uh, They're able to come to the dance. The contact, like, students are allowed to go to the dance. I, don't think I mean, I'm... more, I think more like, you know, make it legitimate that yes, we are like borderline being expelled, but like we have permission He's to. He's not sticking be... his neck out that far, no, unfortunately. Nah. And also, it goes beyond just expelled. <laughs> As uh, Jackson mentioned, he is wanted by the police yeah, for... for murder. For Chaz, for the rest of us. Uh, the rest of you all broke out. You are all very much, if you get spotted in court, you're probably spending in, you know, you're being spoken to in a. <laughs> I mean, we police. broke out of we broke out a hospital. We broke out of jail. Yeah, with a wanted <laughs> with a person who's wanted for murder. Well, that'll do it. Yeah, it's, it's probably the clincher, isn't it? Allegedly, I mean, to that's be, the to truth. Be, to Allegedly. be honest, though, like we didn't break out of hospital with him because he wasn't in hospital with us. We just left, and so did he. And from your perspective, that is all true. From the police, <laughs> they want to yeah. talk to you. Yeah. What do you want to do? Because uh, that's what the police had to right. say. Well, the question is, are we lying or are we charming? Because I can charm and or persuade, but I think Chaz is our better liar. Well, I, I think Chaz, Chaz I'm, is going to have to lie. Right. Oh, that's right. He just I'm likes lying. Katie is the liar. Katie is the liar. Right. In yeah. which case? Chaz, Chaz is going to have to lie. He's going to have to. There's no there's no way around that. I reckon, uh, Seb, you and I can just go in. I'm, I'm only mildly wanted. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I reckon our best bets to just try and walk in. So uh, stick together and uh, uh, we'll try and rally back inside. Put it this way. I'm 
uh, with a big group, we'll just kind of try and boop. Yeah. yeah, alternatively, if they do try and stop us, we'll be like, look, terribly sorry, officer, but we'd like to attend the dance, and we're not going anywhere. We'll speak to you afterwards. That's Murder. not necessarily a bad idea. No, no, again! <laughs> yeah. That's Seb, Seb's just like, All they'll right. let us hang out at the dance, and then we'll come and speak to them afterwards, like, and tell them where we were, sure. Joe's like, I don't think he's thinking about murder. Okay, I'm not then. convinced. Uh... But expecting bag checks, I did when I put the uh, the requisitioned chemicals in my handbag. I've like emptied out perfume bottles and put them in, and yeah. Um, so it'd be like a perfume bottle full and a shampoo bottles full of vodka. Well, it would have been like like a per like innocuous stuff. Like, um, and I am also taking painkillers, which in those days come in nice little brown bottles. So I've probably got a couple of those that mm -hmm. are no longer filled with painkiller solution. Do, do not mix that yeah. up. No. Okay. So the four of you are gonna head down and join the the growing line. Okay. Uh, it like uh, it, it so. moves through the quad and around the uh, the memorial bell tower, which you know smuggled underneath is uh, several liters of gasoline, and I believe no, there's shotguns in the shed towards the back. Shotguns in the shed with some more gasoline. Yep. Uh, and there is, but there is a bunch of gasoline just here. And as you go past, you can see students like just talking and and, and the atmosphere building. Um, people look uh, amazing. Everyone's gotten so like all oh, dressed up throughout, and uh, it's about maybe 15, 20 percent of kids that have taken on the opportunity to dress up in snow gear uh and they are kind of hard to tell who they are you can never recognize any of these kids because they could be anyone underneath those tall hoods and dark snow goggles um a lot of them are partnered up it'll be groups of people that have decided to go in this outfit um and most of them like playing around like re like just razzing one another uh, or, or like mocking out little little expeditionary things just goofing having a good time it's a lot of uh the vibe's pretty positive um you begin to make your way towards the front and it'll take about 10 15 minutes before you get to uh offer your own tickets which are divvied out by i think it was joe that purchased them to everyone uh jim mm -hmm. it, it just occurred to me that this anonymity uh, anonymity however you pronounce it is not necessarily going to just work in our favor and we could be being watched at this point um could I make a psychology check to see if any of the people in the line with us are sort of giving us a weird eye, trying to sort of keep tabs on us or anything like that? Yeah. Sure. There's a lot of kids, but go ahead and roll. Okay. Let me let me give it my best shot with my amazing psychology. An extreme success. <laughs> I am alert. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, you are being watched, and you can actually see around the... Um, Peripherals, people are beginning to gossip and look over towards you. You're the four of you have become like low level, Itch. like sensations on campus. Like the stories of your like uh, Di dickery has spread. Um, and are people you saying, are sort of talking really? about Really? Are you saying we are infamous, mm -hmm. Dave? Yes, I, oh, I would say exactly excellent. that. And so people are looking over towards you and, and talking a bit. Um, additionally, uh, with a psychology role, you will spot one of the, uh, with the extreme, um, a student, a quite small, uh, like a short student, wearing a full uh, parka and snow goggles and things, is just now going past uh, the... Um, the ticketing section, they get past the students before the cop leans back and just tugs him and goes, uh, and he just motions like lift up the goggles briefly. Uh, and the student looks back, raises them up for a second. Uh, and you can see Jason Trent who looks out around the area. Then when the cop just nods at him, he lowers them back down and heads inside. At least some of the imposters <laughs> are at the dance. That <laughs> said, you have seen other students with the goggles on get through. It seems to okay. be, oh, it seems to be a bit of a, you're not really sure. Is it um, worth the risk, or do we try and sneak in the At back? this point, I'm going to tell you what it is. So you're getting towards the front, you're like deciding where to go. It is going to be an appearance roll to go past. And if you succeed the roll, you go straight through. No no other rolls. If you fail the roll, you will be questioned further. I'm How's everyone feeling? With that? Yeah, yeah. I've got a I bet you job. are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, Seb is, not, Seb is not a beautiful human, but, he, you know. He's, he's more about how he carries himself. Yeah, I mean, Seb is a, is all, like, personality. His his power is up there, but his appearance is average. So he's one of those people that doesn't look mm -hmm. anything special, but he just has that magnetism, you know? Yeah. I went the other way. So actually, I'm pretty good at, I'm pretty good at appearance. And it's, it's not, it's not beauty. It's a, uh, it's, that's impressive. 
You are well over six foot tall. That's this is. That'll I'm impressed that. by this. Good, good sign. Uh, so what do you I guys want to do? Sixty appearance. I'm, 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 oh, that's I, right. I like Chaz's hot. Mm. I like those odds. Oh, we've discussed this before. Chaz is it? Oh, oh, we've oh, lost whoa. Alex briefly. Very much. We'll never know exactly what Chaz was. Chaz is the certified hottie. Oh, oh there, there we go. go. <laughs> All right, we're good. Hottie. Excellent. Amazing. We lost you briefly, yeah. Alex. I think we're good, though. Oh, no. I think we're all good Look, now. let's go. I yeah, feel we'll like Seb's the lowest, so let's do it. Okay. All right. Uh, who goes through first? So you you get up. Uh, a couple of students go up and past uh, just in front of you, um, uh, talking, and you see they they rush through the the large doors which have been opened, but like thick streamers have been hung down, all white to mimic like a a, a wash of snow. And as they go past for a moment, you can hear the like raucous uh, party kicking off inside, and then it's muffled once more. Uh, let's do them in the pairs. Uh, Seven yep. Joe or Chaz and Katie. Who wants to go up first? Seven Joe. Seven go. Less less dire if we get caught than Chaz Great. and at least some of at us. At least you can get in. Nice. Yeah. Alright, success from Seb. Oh for fuck's <gasps> sake. <gasps> really? Not a technically not a fumble, only a hundred is a fumble. So uh, Seb, you walk up, uh, pass over a ticket, and one of the volunteer students just just tears it uh, and play and and puts in like a bin to the side. Uh, they take yours, generic Joe, motherfucker. And as you're about to step past, uh, the professor uh, leans over and goes, uh, "Sorry, can I um, can I just see your bag? I just need to check the uh, the contents." Can I push the roll? You can absolutely push the roll. Uh, that would be you're halfway up the stairs, a couple quick steps, and you're and you're past the and you're past the streamers. They'll they'll have to find you inside. Yep. And failure is literally that they're just like. Failure is you try that, and the cop stands up and goes, "Oh, yeah, hang on, like, yeah, what do you have quick. to hide? You're clearly avoiding things." Is is that pushing with appearance? Pushing with dexterity? It's still appearance. Is trying to get through on like. It, it, that said, if you go for Looking that, you could then enough. try and just shoulder check him and run inside as well. So, oh, boy. oh uh, my god! And, but if they look through the the, the, the failed appearance roll now, is they're going to look through my bag and just be like, "You're not coming in." Oh, well, they'll look through your bag, and we might have some further rolls. You can try charm or intimidate or something. They'll, okay. It depends what they see inside. I'll just no, go okay, then I'll, I'll take that. I'll, I'll accept that failure if they're just going to look through my bag because I you know, decanted everything. The only like sus thing in there is I've probably got like two bottles of fucking laudanum. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, right. Seb yeah. will exchange like eye contact and with you. Like... Okay, and we'll walk, like just oh, oh, saunter just inside as as though he has not a care in the world because he does not. Okay. Hmm. Katie heads. Uh, sorry, uh, Seb. Oof. Seb heads straight inside past the streamers and, and disappears. And Joe, you put like quite a large bag, I think you said, and 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 hold it open for the professor, uh, who uh, just picks through it. Now he does see several bottles containing liquid, and what they're concerned about is alcohol being smuggled mm. inside. Uh, so with each one, uh, he will uh, untwist it and smell it to see if it smells like like vodka or something they else. Don't or... Smell like alcohol. So, at this point, I will need a roll. I would see uh, disguise makes the most sense, but that's a 1% unless you have points and I don't think it'll work. Otherwise, uh, sleight of hand, uh, chemistry, or something like that. Otherwise, uh, you risk these being confiscated. Yeah. Uh, While this let is me happening, have a look. If I I'll just have a look through my stuff. Yep. If I can sneak in metaphorically and literally, this is a distraction, and Katie doesn't have fantastic appearance. Could I argue stealth? And while this happens, I literally just church mouse through. A hundred percent. Do you want to give me a stealth nice. roll? Nice. Absolutely. Okay. Um. That is a success. Mm, you nice. like you like walk up past your ticket to the professor as he's looking through things. He just like waves you straight through tears mm. and put it in, yeah. and and Katie disappears past Joe and up. I, uh, Chaz, I, you're now standing just behind Joe I'm with muttering. your like half get up. I might have good luck to you, Chaz, before I <laughs> die. <laughs> okay. uh, can I can, can I not do persuade and just be like? Yep. What do you just say? Just be like, oh, I just just be like with the especially with the the laudanum, just be like, um, I've got like the rash on my wrists as well, and I've probably covered it with like like beaded bracelets and stuff, and kind of just show it a little bit and just be like, I'm really sorry, I'm I'm, I was in a car accident and I just. And basically, just persuade him that, yeah, that's gonna smell a little odd because it's a, it's like a, it's a hospital grade behind killer. I'm not gonna have booze in there because I'm clearly injured. <laughs> and you know, this is, and just basically just persuade him that I'm pathetic. Okay. All right. Uh, go ahead and make a persuasion roll. Um, the 
part of the threat with this is that uh, it has been like then turned like transferred to like perfume containers, which is kind of weird. Uh, well, there's but... one perfume, two, two Lord no, Like, I get you. I get you. Uh, go ahead and roll. Oh, for fuck's sake! Do you want to push this one? I'm gonna have to. Otherwise, well, not the other one is, or they I just, they just, they, or they just confiscate. They, they confiscate the bag, and you try and you try and just push past. I could try and go in the back, but I'm not stealthy. Yeah, I'll push it. Okay. Oh, sure. here we go. Right, go ahead and roll again. Oh, for oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, it's good. It's fine. You like try to put. You like try to talk, and you're getting like kind of pushy, and 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 the professor well, I'm, stands I'm up. I'm starting to sweat because yeah. I'm not well. Uh, the professor stands up and goes, "Look, I'm sorry, but you cannot bring this inside. Look, if you just step out of the line, students are trying to get through. Move over here, please, um, and we can talk further." Uh, he moves the bag down towards the police officer, who's now beginning to stir a little bit and and yeah. look up. And well, uh, at least I'm creating a distraction for Chaz. And uh, Chaz, you can step up. Uh, what do you um, want? To seeing Chaz is there, I'm probably just going to keep talking, even if it makes it worse for me. I just want to like distract from from Chaz. Okay. Also hoping somebody keeps an eye on that bag so I can potentially run it back later. Uh, Alright, uh, Jackson, what do you what do you do? Do you want to make an appearance roll? Roll appearance, yeah. <laughs> so sus. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Jackson with the full little getter or Taz rather just walks up past the ticket across <laughs> and straight inside, um, moving up and around. Uh, you disappear through the streamers and you're on the interior. Uh, a beat or two passes with everyone else moved through and other students are beginning to move past. Uh, Joe, what are you doing? You've been um, pulled to the side by the by the officer who's seeing I'm everything failing. is beginning to ask you... Um, uh, uh, what the accident that you were in is, um, and he's reaching underneath his his uh, like um, his table where he has a small like Manila folder, and he's beginning to flip through it. And as he does, you see a clear photo of Chaz on the interior, um, but none provided of the others. Yeah, I was. I was uh, it's, it was just a graze. It was. I was being. I was. I was stupid. It was. I, it was raining, and I'm no visibility. Just Look. a graze, but it's all right. It's fine. Um, is it is it okay if I take these back home rather than so the professor leave them leave them here because I'm but like the professor stands I can't up have it getting lost. and says, "Look, I I I I've done these dances before. Okay, I I see you kids trying to sneak in your fun booze and your your drugs and things. I know what liquor smells like, so I'm gonna keep this. And Missy, you're gonna go back to your dormitory, and you're not coming inside. Okay, that's what happens. And sure, he's like snapping at the line. That's what happens when you try and sneak booze past me. So everyone." Joe's no just going to raise an eyebrow at him and just be like, if you think that's booze, that's fine, but please don't drink it because it's <laughs> not and it will be bad for you. He, like, flushes a little bit. Then Out of the line. Out of the line. You're holding things up. You're, you're not to come back in. Um, he notices that you can... Sally, write down her name. What was your name? And Miss. Joe's already... If, he's, if he said go, she's gone. Yeah. She's Miss, going. what was your name? Don't let... Describe her. Write down a description. She's not coming back <laughs> oh. in. Yeah, describing Joe. <laughs> Six foot tall. Uh, and uh, the other students, like, like uh, you know, laugh a little bit and then begin to push forward. And Joe's so, just going to, like, be grin and shrug and smile and be like, on the bright side, guys, if he drinks that, it's not booze. He's just going to be stoned. <laughs> and she's just going to be like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, For the rest we're... of them, like, if he takes a swing at it, if, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's bad. Wait, isn't there a 50 50 chance he's going to get a swing of, like, liquid Something... oxygen? Yes. <laughs> uh, As it, someone that's... who is not unfamiliar with chemistry IRL, oh boy! Oh yeah. I hope he drinks that. Right? Practically um, Googling to see if it's... <laughs> oh, it's bad. Yeah. It is okay. yeah. horrifically bad. So we'll come it's back to Joe, but inside Cold. the uh, uh, Seb, Chaz, and Katie you gather in the interior. Um, once you push past the streamers and things, you're out into a large... Um, 
uh, what would you probably call it? Uh, a section of the building where there are stairs heading up to the second and third levels. Um, you can see that a number of rooms towards the sides have been locked. The majority of them have. Students aren't supposed to be in them. But um, others have been de uh, decorated to look like Arctic tents with little flaps in front of them. And then they've been like fell backwards and kids are sitting inside on uh, chairs and, and couches that have been set up. Um, from the... Uh, from the main section, you can see through to the principal hall, which is the largest section of the building and where the dance and majority of events are going to be hosted. Um, and inside there already, you can hear um, music playing and people kind of like just beginning to dance. It's the beginning of the event, so nothing too heaving yet, but just like beginning to get people into the vibe. Um, students and caterers mi mi uh, mingle throughout, carrying trays of food and drinks, all non-alcoholic, of course. Although you you can see sections towards the back where there's like um, punch bowls and stuff set up um, and students lurking around them. Um, additionally, the stairs go up towards the second level and up there there is one large row of building, a uh, row of like adjoining rooms which have all been set up for a more sort of like chill hang section vibe. Um, uh, then to, from the corner around there, there is a secured section uh, I'll secure it as in like there's just a, a person standing in front of it. And that is like a teacher's lounge where the professors can get away from all the kids for a bit and, and talk amongst themselves as needed. Um, the three of you gather in the section and you can feel like you're being like jostled a little bit by other kids who are coming and going, moving past, talking amongst themselves. Um, and uh, you can see that Joe has not made her way in. Uh, what do you want to do? Where is Miss Johnson? I think I think she got turned around. I think uh, I think they didn't like they didn't like the uh, the stuff in her bag. I'm 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 gonna hope she heads through to the back. That's the only main way in. Um, I'm gonna head there and try and clear some kind of entrance for her. Maybe I can be a distraction. The other two of you want to look around, see if you can spot any of the others, see if we can figure something out. Oh yeah. All right. Um, sure. Okay. All right. Well, if I'm not back here soon, then something's gone wrong and well i don't know something's already gone wrong wait you're uh, you're heading to the the kitchens the... yeah all right um i like it i like it i like it do you know all right um i'll give you a few moments if something doesn't work i'll um my mother holds a lot of dinner parties and i've i've seen her uh get very demanding of starf before so if that doesn't work i'll take my jacket off and look like i'm in control of the place and hopefully we can uh work together to make some people run that's a good idea i'll i'll i'll, I'll try and i'll try and call for you if i if i need the backup otherwise if the two of you spot anyone see anything now might be the time all right, all right. uh Chaz, i i think now that we're inside you can probably, you know, make it a little easier to breathe. It's good. It's good. No, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, all right, buddy. I don't want to risk nothing, all right? They, they had a cop outside. That's bad news for me. I don't know if you know. I mean, no, I don't. Well, I'm supposed to be checking in with a detective every week, and, you know, he probably knows I've been going to class the last few days. No, no, I understand why you're in trouble, Chaz. I just... I don't have to... Never mind. Um, all right, let's uh, let's take a look around. Um, I I we all saw Trent earlier, didn't we? So we yep. know what he looks like. Like we know what outfit he's in. Yeah, he's he's wearing a small parka with a pair of like uh, snowshoes strapped to the back. All right. Um, well, if we can find where Trent is, we can probably find some more of them. Uh, I expect I like most I like of them are going to be incognito, as it were. Yeah, so we just look for the ones to be incognito, and they're the ones. Chaz. So you gotta think. You gotta think like they think. Two steps ahead of them, McCarthy. All right. Well. Oh Lord. What's the split up? Where's everyone heading? And what are your objectives? I, I'm heading back towards the kitchens. Okay. Personally, and I would advise the two of you to stick around and try and look for our uh, adversaries. But uh, that's up to you. Mm. Uh, are you particularly good at spot hidden, Jackson? Uh, not bad. I've gotten better. Oh, good, because I'm shocking. 37. 
psychology <laughs> psychology also works and i will say it depends on where you go so there's the there's the like lobby which you're in there's the teacher's lounge there's the large like chill area there's the principal uh theater there's the backstage and then there's also a bunch of like scattered off rooms to the sides um and you can also just, you just start think... start wandering through and getting I the think... i think we split up right okay i think i think seb's best option here is to just do what he does best and talk to people. Okay. So he's gonna ask about the others and see if they've like, you know, from a kind of, oh, you know, have you seen these people? I haven't seen them since, uh, the ex you know, we were on the expedition together. I want to say hello. Like he's just gonna do his. Okay. In that case, thing. you probably head through towards the principal theater where the most mm -hmm. of the people are and where you can where you can work your magic. Uh, Chaz, what are you aiming to do? Uh, I guess, uh, just, 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 uh, mingle into the crowd and keep an eyes peeled. I reckon those, those side rooms sound the most promising. So you're just going to start looking through rooms and just getting a feel for where people might be. Is that the idea? Exactly okay. right. Awesome. All right. Uh, so, uh, Seb heads forward towards the principal theatre. Chaz begins to check, like, just working one room at a time, making his way around the ground floor and then heading towards the stairs to go up, if that passes. Uh, and Katie slips around and begins to try and look for a backstage area. Um, there are two entrances to the backstage that you can see, Katie. There is one off to the side from here that goes through a room which has been, uh, locked, so people can't come and go, but occasionally you see someone enter and exit through. Uh, then inside the principal theatre, there is one door behind all the catering stuff, all the uh, food and things. And there's another one behind the stage because you can see some of the band moving up and past. Uh, now's a good time to mention that the marching miskies have uh, adorned themselves uh, for the event and they are all wearing uh, massive penguin suits, like oversized felt creations, except as you go past Seb and you can hear two people talking, uh, something went wrong when they were printing them and their color is all washed out. So they look like just white, almost albino. Um, as they flap onto stage and don't quite have all the detail of everything. Um, they head up and they begin to play, and from that section you can see you can get back towards the backstage. Uh, any particular strategy, Katie? I think that I'm going to try and head towards uh, the door behind the uh, catering uh, equipment. Specifically, I'm not really war I, I, I'm going to try and just sort of nip through, but I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get spotted almost immediately, in which part, at which point my plan is to talk to somebody. Okay. Um, yes. All right, so you head uh, back behind the, the, the food. Um, you can see they've laid out a bunch of like little nibbly things, sort of hors d'oeuvre style, and there's large punch bowls spaced sporadically throughout the area. Um, already you can see towards the back one student with a flask they've got in, just leaning over and beginning to upend it into the punch bowl. Those things won't last a minute, and I highly suggest you don't drink any of them. Uh, to what you could pick up a tray or something and walk back with it as if you're helping with the catering, although you are dressed differently to the other catering staff who have all got like little tuxes and uh, smart outfits. Uh, otherwise, as soon as you head towards the back, one of the uh, one of the other it's just another student will stop you. Oh, um, sorry. I, I'm I'm uh, I'm just trying to open the door. I'm I'm uh, uh, Violet. I'm doing some of the volunteering, and uh, my roommate actually is just outside, going to be coming in, uh, carrying some equipment in. Oh, Violet. No, sorry. Um, I I thought I just uh, saw you head that way though. I just looped back around. Oh, okay. Um, hey, look, uh, I think everything's going smoothly, though. So um, if you, you know, any more ideas or anything, just, just run them straight past me. Um, uh, Katie, can you give me a fast talk roll? Absolutely. Uh, let's see how this Does goes. Does Katie get a bonus die because she's literally the spinning image of her twin? I, that I is why that she's allowed it. to pretend to be someone else. <laughs> I tell you what, Seb, if you come up and say you're Violet, you will not get to roll. <laughs> That is a hard success. Yeah, hey. this person completely, completely believes it. Um, I uh, just put up the attitude of being a self-assured, confident. Oh, in that goody. case, <laughs> uh, with with a hard success, as you come through, he goes, "Yeah, yeah, no, no worries. Um, just just head straight back that way, uh, and you can head down the loading bay, and and um, you can just check everything that's going on. Um, there is a a girl out there uh, that we saw coming in. Um, I don't think she's well, so just." avoid that for the moment um but yeah you can just head straight through uh and he picks up another tray and begins to head round uh towards the side i head directly towards the unwell girl oh, of course that sounds do. like somebody i know <laughs> uh you move through uh uh you move through uh the back and you can see there's a bunch of like those silver plattered trays where food is being kept warm there's a large truck backed up where the catering company um is parked and there's people unloading things so that it can be so that it can be staged there's no immediate sign of the unwell girl that's been mentioned but joe were you planning to head round towards the back yeah absolutely 
Okay. Absolutely. Um, and I don't have anything that I can like pretend to be taking in with me. Um, uh, you're kind of again dressed, not really like the staff, but as you come around the but side, but like a volunteer. The volunteers yeah. all have little outfits so that they can be so yeah. they can be told apart. But you, as you're coming around the side, like you were making your way about, um, mm. the two of you will will catch eyes, um, and you can see one another. Okay, um, uh, I'm kind of going to uh, wave, uh, take a deep breath or two, and then I will step forward and, as if I own the place, as if this is all normal, um, I'll start saying, you know, coming forward saying, Joe, we need you, we need you in here. We're going to have, you know, uh, darting around with some kind of yep. live out. How we have to move the plates to the other side of the dance before the band comes out, you know, and there's already so many disasters, what with this penguin outfit fiasco. I was going to very quickly try and just, okay, and just. Perfect. Uh, I'm, you, I'm not subtle, but I'm quick. You just grab, you just pick up a platter and walk forward with it. Yeah. Um, uh, the two of you can uh, easily leave from here and head back into the dance. Uh, no one really questions it, especially because you've already been called Violet by someone else and people aren't really going to push it. Uh, Violet yeah. pretty much runs the, the like, cheer committee stuff. So, okay, um, Violet. <laughs> Um, you head straight up and back, and then uh, you can, uh, Joe, you can set down the platter inside the dance section, and uh, the two of you can just step back and away, and you are inside the principal hall. I'm gonna eat like six of them before. Okay. Yeah, just two of them. I'm just gonna well, put it down to be like, mm, I'll. While we're darting through a back hallway, I will also, after going, it's, it's actually Katie, it's not Violet, it's me. <laughs> no, I, no, I get it. No, Katie, I, I get it. You're very good, though, right? Yeah. It's, it's, um, it's seamless, seamless. Mm. You, you really captured the, the stress. Mm. Um, I would like to, we're going through the kitchen, so in true kind of like movie style, something's happening. Is there like a knife I can pocket or something? I mean, I'm not going to be able to use it, but I reckon if I can give this to Chaz, he can cause some damage with it. Yeah, uh, so I would ask for a sleight of hand roll to uh, nab you know this. What? I might not try it. Because this is an active thing, and since Joe's had her bag taken away, you don't really have anywhere to like super easily hide it. What the is, bag, it, bag. is, is this a uh, if I if I fail, I'm caught. Or if, if you fail, fail you don't it's... get the opportunity to take oh, it. That's fine. okay. I might fumbling. I might try that would, then. Fumbling would be bad. I'm not going to fumble. Famous last words. Ooh, Ooh, I didn't fine. fumble. <laughs> All right, we're good. Um, yeah, you go past and, like, you begin to move to what you pick up a knife and then you, like, you're holding it. You walk towards the like... door and <laughs> you're just carrying it. I'm... No, that, that probably goes back there. Uh, the, th the two of you head into the principal hall um, and can join the party. Uh, meanwhile, Seb... As you begin to walk through mingling, people are having a good time. Uh, clearly there's liquor flowing because already about half the population is drunk um, and it's only just beginning. Uh, the band strikes up in the background. You can hear people beginning to like clear space on the floor and then head for, uh, head head in with partners and also in like large like group dance sort of vibe things. Um, as you're moving through, you hear a drunken McCarthy. I say McCarthy. Uh, and when you look around, Robert Lodge Jarvis, head of the Delta Phi fraternity, uh, and clearly inebriated, is pushing towards you, holding his little, like, solo cup equivalent aloft above the, uh, uh, above the crowd. And behind him is a large, uh... Swedish looking fella, very, very fair haired, um, dressed uh, in, I guess, a polar outfit. It looks like he just wore his gym clothes and told people that's what it was. Um, and he's right behind him, making sure that people get out of the way. You just hear it go, McCarthy, I say, old fellow, come here. Uh, please tell me that they've got those, like, when they do champagne fountains, it's those martini glasses. Oh, like, yes. that's, that's what everyone's got is those, like, real nice, because it was perfect for punch, but also, yeah. She's like, uh, Seb will turn around. And with his most charming smile, just say, Jarvis, it has been too long. Nice. How are you? It has been a spell, hasn't it? I'm, well, I'm, I'm marvelous. I see you've dressed for the occasion. I'm uh, half surprised you got in. What with all the nefarious doings, eh? Oh, you don't know half the things we've been getting up to. I understand you're wanted by the police. That's fun. Uh. Well, I mean, I'm not sure. He puts like an arm around and goes, Don't worry, old man, I'm not telling anyone about you. He spills a little bit of his drink on the floor. He goes, oh, bother, that's a slipping hazard. And just tries to mop it up a bit with his shoe, just squeaking it around on the ground. Oh, I wouldn't bother Peter Jarvis. They have people for that. 
<laughs> Isn't that the beauty of these sort of events, huh? People Isn't to feed you, indeed. people to bring you things. So, uh, I show you around. Have you gotten a sense for everything, or are you looking for someone particular? Well, uh, I mean, I would uh, love to do a tour of the hall with you, Jarvis, please. Uh, I am curious about uh, whether any of my uh, companions from the expedition earlier this uh, this month have made it in yet. I haven't seen them since. I'm curious to say hello, but... You know. Well, let's see. Your companions. Well, there's the, there's the big fellow, the murderous one. Haven't seen him. There's the, uh, the the small woman, Violet, was it? I think she's running things, so she's <laughs> certainly about. And I haven't seen that gorgeous Josephine anywhere. But you let me know if she comes in. I'd I'd like to have a word with her very much. Oh, I absolutely will. Uh, but no, I actually meant um, uh, you know Roderick Block and Clarissa Thurber and oh. uh, Jason Trent. You know those fellows. I haven't no. seen them around in a while. Oh, let's see. Uh, I think I've seen a couple people moving and, and shaking around the area. Um, uh, Seb, do you want to give me a charm roll? Absolutely. Seb in his element. Yeah. Uh, I will uh, also say Seb and Art, but Seb, there is something very delightful about being talked about, mm -hmm. and he is very much enjoying it. Uh, Jarvis has been here since the hall opened. Uh, he's sequestered a small little section towards the back. Uh, he begins, uh, sorry, in like one of the side rooms. He walks through and he points out and he goes, we've got a whole lot of liquor back there, so help yourself. Delta five. Uh, we're Thank doing you. little runs and back and forth. Um, but yeah, some of your friends. Uh, let's see. Uh, Carissa Thurber, I think, is volunteering. I saw her moving back of house somewhere a, a beat ago. I haven't seen your man Trent. He's an odd little fellow, unfortunately. Uh, Noakes, uh, and Mr. Block, I believe, are upstairs. They secured themselves a comfortable little wing. Um, for the rest of them, though, I, I, I can't say I'm sorry. I haven't seen, uh, I haven't seen Laszlo or, uh, what was, the, what was the other fella? Gibbons? He's a funny sort. No, no, no sign of him. Oh, not that I've seen, at least. It's a big party. That is, uh, very true. Well, yeah, I was just curious to, uh, do the rounds, say hello to everyone I met, but, uh, uh, if they are sequestered away and taking um, time from themselves, then Jarvis, I believe I'm at your disposal for the evening. Ah. Why don't you uh, show me around? Yes, I'd love to. Uh, he, he takes you like around the shoulder and very buddy. Uh, you begin mm -hmm. to walk through and he's like pointing things out. Uh, he will ask, hey, you ever heard from Blaine, did you? He hasn't come home in some time. <laughs> His room's getting cold. Oh, l last I heard of Blaine, he was a... Uh, Getting drunk in a bicycle shop. <laughs> classic, classic. Oh, isn't that just here? What a story. A bicycle shop. Hey, Smithers, did you hear this? Uh, and he heads off like with you to like tell the story to someone else. He seems to completely take it at face uh, and yeah. doesn't push the issue. Um, I also imply at some point in that conversation that uh, Blaine has been expelled like oh. that because that is actually what was going to happen to him so you know that's funny we don't really tend to get expelled us by fraternity sorts i should have a word to the old dean anyway uh shall we and you begin to walk around um and this is seven also ingratiating himself into the fraternity woo. for you know clout ah. Well, they don't tend to get expelled, so, you know, good good, good avenue to pursue, possibly. I um, mean, neither do McCarthy's, so, you know. Uh, so, as this is happening, Chaz, meanwhile, you've begun to go room to room, looking inside and seeing what's going on. Most of the lower level floors, uh, rooms have been locked off, but a couple have been designated for, like, you can hang out in here, maybe you can, like, store a bag or a coat, or you can, like, take a breather from the party. Um, that said... Some of the locked rooms have since been jimmied open and uh, people are just hanging out in those as well, just like in the darkness and um, mm. uh, away, from, away from line of sight. So there's kind of people hanging everywhere. Out. Yeah, um, just uh, following the vibe. Uh, you begin to check through them. Uh, there's no immediate sign of any of your uh, imposters Targets. on the lowest level. Um, you see Seb on the lower level, and you see you will see Katie and Joe come in as well. Uh, do you head upstairs or through towards the um, the others? Uh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to meet up with them until I got something to report. Yeah. All right. 
You begin to head up the stairs. Um, there are large, like, double flight. And what was... The, the, the cheer committee's done a really good job. What would normally just be, like, a row of rooms now really does look like a sort of pseudo-arctic tent. There's canvas flaps in front of it, and they've got little, like, snowflakes and things all around it, and little cut-out animals and all sorts of nonsense. It's a bit kitsch, but it kind of comes together in a weird way. Um, and <laughs> echoing from below, you can hear the... Of the band still playing. Um, this room is one really long one, uh, divided up rather than by walls, but with just couches that have been strategically placed to make sort of like communal talking areas. Kids are gathered around them with drinks placed in front of them, uh, just talking and, and gossiping. And as soon as you come inside, you can see off to one corner, seated on a pair of chairs, are Roderick Block and uh, William Noakes. Uh, they don't seem to be talking very much. Neither are dressed in parkas, they're both dressed in like suits. Um, and they look pretty good, um, but they've got like their legs crossed and they're just looking out around the area. You stick your head in, you're not immediately recognized given the get up or anything, um, but they do seem to be kind of surveying the area. Hmm. I would be tempted just to, you know, sashay around this room for a bit, getting close enough to, to overhear anything they might say for a okay. few minutes. Do you want to give me. Because they're not going to recognize me. I agree. Do you want to give me either stealth or listen? Depending I'll give on you your listen. Do you want to go for listen? Okay, so you're staying a bit further away, but you're going to rely on 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 your old these fellas, your old flappers. <laughs> yep, that that's what we call you. Here we go. In the biz. All right, it's a strong start. Strong start. Uh, it hasn't it hasn't come through for me on the. Uh, 68 over 57, so a failure. Okay. Uh. Ah. Fair bit of luck. You can uh, failing this would just be there. We go. It's come through now. Failing this would just be stepping away, and it, it, it's you know a lot of hubbub. Uh, you could push it by crouching down, like sort of behind a chair, and beginning to squeak a little bit closer. I'm inclined to push it. Okay, go ahead and roll that again. I want. I want to bring something back to my team. I want to show them I'm good for something. Hunter gatherer <laughs> of information. Oh. Okay. What? Uh, uh, oh no. Uh, 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 well, that's suspicious. Don't yeah. think roll 20 has got it out. But the same roll? What are the chances of rolling the same thing twice? That'll They're astronomical. Like on a D100? Yeah, it's like a, a, a one in a million, right? A billion. Yeah, exactly. See, it's a uh, one in a, it's one in a thousand? Is that how? Something like know. that. Uh, you crouch down behind a couple. Actually, what's your strategy? What's your approach? Mm. There's like couches you can hide behind. You can maybe like squeak along the wall. Uh, it's probably more like um, just following the crowd, following the dance and just like uh, dance closer to them and then didn't hear anything on that pass so I'll come back a little bit closer on this one and I still can't hear them so like eventually like I'm walking right in front of them with my back to them so they can just see me see my back uh, dancing along uh, repeatedly as, going back and forth as this happens so you go back and forth a bit you hear uh, something from Noakes and then uh, something grabs the back of your oh, no. like your jacket um, you look down and, and, and blocks got it, grabbed, and he goes, "Uh, hey, can I um, can I help you? Say you're a tall no. fella." Yeah. Dedrick? No. What? <laughs> what? Do, do you, you want to? Like do you, you want to like drive fast talk? Oh, that voice, and oh my god. <laughs> do you want to drive fast talk? Yeah. That fucking Groucho Marx or something. Oh, <laughs> More Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> yeah. Uh you say that and uh so they're now Block's standing up and he's still got you like held by the tail and he goes, Dedrick, right? Oh. <laughs> Take off the glasses. Oh. I need him. Uh, he's he's gonna hold pressure. He's gonna reach up and, and grab your snow goggles off. I'm gonna brawl to maneuver away. Okay, like, uh, twist out. Hell yeah! Uh, let's do a fighting ball maneuver. Oh my god! Yeah. Uh, let me just get his uh, build so we can see if you have a bonus. Uh, and this is, so uh, you can dodge, which means if you meet it, you will win. Otherwise you can fighting brawl maneuver to get your own thing. So that could be bopping him on the nose, uh, pushing him backwards so he falls over the chair and you can uh, and you can bail. What are you, what are you trying with the maneuver? Because uh, like, his objective is kind of grapple you and get your glasses off, get your disguise off. Just like wrench him over the side and throw him off balance while okay. I'm twisting away. Yeah, so like using my strength to pull him over. Okay. As uh, I uh, detach, as I block, decouple. Block is build two. Uh, uh, what's my build? one, I think, right? Yeah, out of here. Yeah, it is. Okay, Ooh, so uh, he, will, he will have a bonus dice for this. Heck. 
Um, so he grabs you, you, and suddenly he grabs it, and, and he wrenches forward and tries to rip it off. Uh, do you want to dodge or brawl? I'm still brawl. I'm okay. uh, much better brawling than dodging. Uh, he gets a success on the first, and with a bonus, <gasps> you might have it with the bonus dice though. Unless he gets a hard. That's it. Uh, he rages forward to grab it. Uh, what does it look like? How do you how do you break it? Uh, yeah, like I just like go into a ball straight down to the ground while also grabbing his arm. So we like pull him. It's a little, little bit of a judo throw. Like, uh, yeah, a little bit of hauling him over my shoulder and then I'm gone. As you wind. begin to as you begin to run, you hear Noxy, stop him. Uh, and Noakes coming by through scrambles is a bit slower and already you're moving through the crowd. Um, but the, the last thing you'll hear is get Professor Harold. Um, and then you're through the crowd and you're back out onto the main thing and, and darting. Where are you heading towards? The others or are you going to try? Uh, yeah, last last place I saw uh, Joe and Katie, I think okay. it was. So you're no, like, Joe and, uh, yeah, Joe and Katie. You like explode past students and get to the stairs and then you're like running down them, uh, one hand on the banister to keep pace. You swing around it and dart in towards the principal theatre. Um, after a beat, uh, Seb, you've been shown the perimeter and, and talked to a couple people. Uh, you can you can have been, you can still be with uh, old mate, if you want. Otherwise, the four of you will regather um, down on the floor. Um, uh, uh, you can hear the band uh, begins to fade down, and um, uh, it looks like they're going to do speeches or something pretty shortly. Okay. Um, I will j make my uh, excuses along the lines of I need to use the restroom or something to that effect, and then make my way if I see the three of these. Chuckle Fox, yep. uh, making a nuisance of themselves. I will uh, make my way downstairs to report on what I know. Um, as you head down, and Chaz, you'd notice this as well, actually. Um, as you like barrel past people, you get shoved back a bit. Um, people don't really take too kindly to it. Um, and then Seb, as you're moving past, you just like brush elbows with someone, um, and they glower down at you and like shoulder check you back. And um, you like take a step back. It just seems like it's kind of a, you know, weirdly hostile. Is there something in the water, please? Do you want to go tie the water? No, I want to make a psychology check to see if this is normal behavior or not. Sure, make a psychology check. Or if it's like drunken behavior, or if it's like drug behavior, like... Success. You recognize the kid that just shoulder checked you? They're not like the sweetest person, but that's out of character. That was, that was kind of hostile. Oh. Um, could just oh, be they're kind of no, trying to show up no. to their friends and things, but that, that felt a little mean. Oh, no. Balls. Um, you head down, and when the four of you gather up, you can uh, you can spot Seven Chaz because you're kind of aware of this. Out on the, the dance floor, um, a couple of kids... What was once, like, a jazz thing as, is beginning to mosh pit <laughs> or get closer to that. There's a bit of, like, shoving back and forth. They're just, like, macho expressions for the moment, but it's still pretty tame. Name is building. Uh, what do the four of you do? I got, I got, I got Joe. Joe's here. So, so what next? Did, did we find anything? Yes. Um, Thurber is volunteering, uh, so she will be in the back. Uh, Noakes and Block are apparently sequestered away somewhere upstairs, and Lasley right. and Gibbons we haven't, uh, haven't seen yet. Um, oh, I found Noakes and Block. Oh. Upstairs. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, right, uh, yeah, they were right uh, in the corner, just watching the goings on. They, uh, I think, uh, they, they, they might have recognized me, but I think I played it up, I think it got away. Uh, but they were calling the, the, uh, the professor, calling Professor Harold, right? Yeah. Well, th this is, this is great, we gotta, we, we can, if we where can figure out are? where Professor Harold is, Harold's probably where, where whatever they're doing is, so we should, we should um, follow along. Yeah. I'm not sure about bag that. Back. Bag, bag, oh, yeah. Um, I'm not sure that what's going on is... I think there is a catalyst, but I think what's going on has already started. What do you mean? Yeah, that doesn't look... Everyone in here... Well, I... It's not everyone. It, okay, it's not everyone. Is it, like... The, but there's enough people that I'd be like... You can, you can always point someone out. That's yeah. beginning to get a little aggro. Oh, I'll, be, I'll point out the guy who, who shoulder checked me and be like... Now, I'm all, f I totally understand macho um, posturing, but uh, that was not mas yeah. uh, macho posturing, that was aggression, and that is unusual. Um, I think uh, okay. they're doing something with people. 
What do you mean doing something with people? Like making them more aggressive. And I don't know whether it's going to get worse. I don't know if they're going to do something that catalyzes it. But uh, regardless, I think there's going to be a lot of violence at some point this evening and quite possibly bloodshed if we're not careful. So uh, get ready to punch some stuff if we need to and or run. But uh, for the time being, be okay. careful and try not to get in anyone's way. Is I need that my bag like, back. Bag, bag, okay. So we um, gotta figure out. Maybe you can pretend to be, like, you, Katie, maybe you can, you can violet it up and, and get it get it back for me, or sorry. I, I, I can try that, yeah, but, um... I, I think I we need to know what Clarissa's doing. If she's in the back with the food and the drink, there's a solid chance that and whatever's going on is being put into food and drink. She might be doing that, and I would like to rule that out as a possibility, given that I'm rather hungry and I'm eating something and would prefer not to, you know, lose my mind. Okay. Okay. Um, well, someone needs to get back Joe's bag. Um, uh, I, I kind of want to have a look at... I mean, if they're poisoning people, if they're giving them something, the punch bowl seems like the most obvious area, right? Um... Okay, um, how about, I might, Seb, do you, do you think you can talk your way into getting Joe's bag back? I mean, it is my mother's. Okay. okay. Yeah. Great, okay, uh, fantastic. Well, do you want to go with Joe then, and the two of you can try and retrieve that, and I'll, uh, Chaz, do you want to stay with me? We can check out the punch bowl, and then when we're done, whatever we're doing, we all rally in the back, and we try and... And we keep right. an eye out for Professor Professor Harold the whole time. Yeah, we're not, yes. yeah, 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 we, yeah. We're all going to keep an eye out for him no matter what. Uh, and we, what, what do we do if uh, we panic and we see something and someone goes down? That we get me in the kitchen? Is that near the back? Don't Is that... panic. Well, okay. What if everyone else starts panicking? But yeah, we're going to keep a cool head. Where are we going to go? I we gonna meet be... in the back. I've I've Great. put I've put and need to like lower her voice right down and kind of lean in. Like, I've put gasoline in the shed and there's oh. one under the bell tower. Um, I just, just, just in, just in case, you know, we've been unprepared in the past. I'd rather be overprepared than. Yeah. If okay. something violent does happen, I would say the back might be safe. I would also suggest the stage because it is raised and above everyone. Um, ah. And that's probably a good way of getting out of a crowd. Yeah. Also very visible if we need to find each other. Yeah, make yourself known to the others. If we need a backup rally point, it's how about by the library? We're good. good okay, plan. good plan. Plan. Okay, keep an eye out for Harrod. We'll try and figure out what's going in the back. Keep it, keep it. Do I feel okay? After like, I did eat six of the canapes <laughs> yeah. in like one handful, and you I feel did. good. I feel fine. For the moment, you feel okay. Yeah, you feel oh, kind of warped them down. Like it's they're, they're sitting right there. You hadn't eaten I mean, a ton today. Normal. So far, so good. But yeah, there's a little voice in the back of your head that goes, ha. Huh. <laughs> a mild concern. Okay. Uh, so it's put up is seven. Joe, sorry, you're heading back to the front to try and get the bag back. Chaz and Katie, you're going to go have a look around the, look around the punch bowl. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. And then it's good. Yeah. I won't go within sight of whoever's at the door. I don't think it's a good idea for me to personally try and get it back. Do you want to go and try and find Harrod just straight away then, Joe? Yeah. I might go for, go for a... Oh... Because I don't think it's a good idea for me to actually be seen trying to get the bag back. Um, Joe? Yeah? If you need cover... Yeah? Jarvis is looking for you. Who's Jarvis? I'll describe and, like, I'm pretty sure you would... Because we, we went... We, you know, we went to the fraternity. <laughs> I don't know if you would have seen him there, but like he is one of the upperclassmen that is, I assume, known around just campus. Like... Jarvis also has that irritating quality of you say his name three times and he appears. You say yeah. Jarvis, and over in the corner you can always hear him, like, like he's heard his name. He like his ear pricks up and he starts like... looking around a little bit. <laughs> like, what sport does he do? Oh, does he uh, do a sport? He do like croquet or something. Actually, I think he's a swimmer. I think he generally is a swimmer. Actually, he's, he's I think team. I think Seb just goes outside of horizontal jogging. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, like, if he doesn't do a sport, I don't know him. Well, he certainly knows you. I mean, if he's not good at a sport, so, I don't know him. I'm going to be honest, he's an obnoxious piece of shit, but uh, he's probably useful if you're willing to put up with his slime, for sure. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. And I'm still insane. I'm just, just over, <laughs> over our own shoulder, just, I would not do this for 
anyone but you. Uh, uh, you. We've got well, better things to do than oh. get a bag back, Seb. Um, what was his name again? Jarvis. Jarvis. Uh, Jarvis. What was Jarvis. his first name, sorry? Jarvis. Uh, Robert. Wait, hang on. Jarvis. Jarvis. Uh, it is Robert Lodge Jarvis. And he yeah, uses Jar all three in casual so I will conversation. Say Jarvis. Yeah. Robert Lodge Jarvis. I, what? RLJ. As I said, slimy bastard. Is that him, like, turning up? You've said his name. No, but you've said his name <laughs> twice. He's beginning to walk through the crowd looking for someone. <laughs> I'm not going to remember that. Then uh, just, then, then just remember the last one. In fact, you know okay. what? Play stupid. He probably likes that better. Okay. Uh, what's the split? No, not here going? on an academic scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's everyone going? What are we doing? Jim? Punch bowl for me. Punch bowl. Chaz. Same. Punch right. bowl. Yeah, Maybe yeah, more emphasis again. on the punch. Uh, Seb. Butler's bag. Okay, you head back and uh, Joe. Um, well, I think we've got better things to do than argue with security about a bag. I was going to get what's his name to get it for me. Oh, right. Yeah, that's an option that as well. Definitely. Yeah, because if you argue with security and it doesn't go well, you're going to get kicked out because you are a little bit wanted. You know what? I am very good time. at introductions. And then I'll okay. look for an arm and, like, I will do, I will walk over and do the introduction of, like, Jarvis, you wanted to be uh, Josephine. Okay. Uh, audible, audible groan before ah, we get there. It's been dragged <laughs> for. Uh, all right, Chaz and Katie, you head towards. Let's uh, check out on the two of you first. Uh, Chaz and Katie, you head over towards the punch bowls, and you can see a lot of kids are uh, eating them, uh, and uh, the the canapes and things they're being uh, regularly refilled. And towards the back, you will at one point see Clarissa Thurber go past. She's wearing like the little like the tuxedo outfit for um, serving things, and uh, then passing her becomes Violet, who is heading out and towards you. Uh oh. Uh, uh -oh. uh. Okay, I'm going to try and uh make myself as scarce as possible. Have we already been spotted? <laughs> no, no, that's right. You look by my duck. Uh, yeah, there's a whole uh, like party going. You could just step backwards into the into the flow if you wanted to. Oh okay, god, I, 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 I mean, it's almost more comic to like be like under the table. Ah, oh, hundred no, percent. We, 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 okay, I'm doing. I, 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 I'll dart under the table okay. genuinely and hustle, hustle there for a second. Uh, don't make a roll yet. So you look both ways and suddenly just vault down and scurry <laughs> under. There's like the white sheets over it. Again, Arctic theme. And suddenly, Chaz, you're standing there by yourself. Um, Violet yes, comes... Come <laughs> Violet comes out and looks around uh, and says to you, um, sorry, I, I'm sorry. Um, did you see my sister, um, Katie? Uh, looks like me. She, I think I just saw her come past. No. Uh, but, uh, I'll let you know. Oh, um, no, it's, it, it's fine. Sorry, um, uh, can I serve you something? Uh, she, like, spoons up a big uh, drink of punch and holds it out to you in one of those fancy little martini glasses. Oh, uh, thanks very much. I'm sorry, are you, are you feeling okay? Your, your voice is kind of <laughs> weird. Uh, just a, just a cough. <laughs> okay, um, we'll get that down here. Hopefully you, you, you feel a little better. Um, Thank you. God, it's just like Katie, crashing a party. It's probably doing something cool now. What, you, I mean, what, my, what you, yeah, yeah, I've seen her around. She's a little nerdy one, right? Nerdy? Uh, no, I mean, it's kind of more, you know, I, I, I get all involved in these clubs and things. She's always up to, like, doing cool adventures and things. I heard she, like, broke out of a uh, hospital or something. I just, I don't know. One day it'd be fun to have an adventure, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it would. Okay. Uh, <laughs> nice meeting you. Sorry, I didn't get your name. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't tell you. <laughs> oh, well, I, I'm I, I'm Violet. Good to meet you. Okay, well, you have a good one. <laughs> she takes a step back, but she's still at the table, and she looks around, and you see another girl. <laughs> and actually, mimes like drinking as if you're drunk. Quick question. Yeah. I'm assuming Violet and Katie are not in the same outfit. Uh, I think, oh, I think Katie well. went for I similar. I think I, it is. I genuinely tried to get the same outfit. So yeah, I think so, it is very similar. In that case, because I was going to say everything has come from Seb's family's wardrobe. So Violet has like a nice, you know, little black dress. 
Katie is in my mother's like satin, you know, incredibly <laughs> expensive. So like it is. Katie's is uh, violence is off the Katie's rack. is like several hundred dollars in 1920s money. Nicer. Yeah. She is absolutely the swankier of the two twins. Oh right my now. god, I am the cool one. My um, whole life was a lie. <laughs> Uh, very good. Chaz, do you take the drink that gets offered to you? You don't need to drink do, it, but you take, but I you do take not it. drink it. Uh, do if you I step must, I will pretend to. But, uh, uh... Do you step away from the table? Because she's kind of standing there. Do you step away and back into the crowd? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to spot uh, the table that Katie needs to be underneath. Uh, it's the same one. So as you step away, Katie, oh. you see footsteps receding a little bit. And uh, you can still hear Violet talking to whoever else is there. And she goes like, weird guy. Okay, well, um, let's get some more drinks out. Uh, I think Clarissa's doing prep, so see if she's got the right next batch ready to go. Um, okay. do, you, do you do anything or do you stay I down there? I will crawl along <laughs> under the table. <laughs> like moving along tables? Like yeah, until, the next... until I can dart out um, uh, at a quiet point. Chaz, you can just see, you're the only one looking for it. Like, there's a casual <laughs> swish of cloth as Katie shitties along underneath all the- Katie, can you please give me a stealth test with a bonus dice? Oh, okay, fantastic. Here we go. Uh, that is a success, and, uh, with a bonus die, that is a hard, hard success. success. Nice. Is a hard success enough for me to grab myself a, uh, cup of punch as we go? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, it's like uh, being handed across someone, grab that and yep. skimmy along. Um, yep, the two of you can uh, convene uh, just off to the side. Uh, you both smell it. It smells like punch. Um, and you can see like, little like, bits of things. It also does smell faintly like liquor. It's definitely been spiked a bit. Um, do you drink it? What do you want to do? Okay. I, I'm not exactly a chemist. It's more Violet's department. I... You got something you can, we can test it with or something? Um, I, I, I think so. I, I think... She, she, you hear what she was saying? She said, um, "Look, this, it doesn't matter. There's no time." Um, okay. Um, can I make a medicine check to try and determine if this punch has any particular effect? I have a few points yes. in medicine. No. Okay. Um, all right. Well, who well, does? Who does? Is there something around here no, we can there's, use? There's another way we can test this. Give me your drink. Oh. Okay. Oh, Katie, no, <laughs> no. Uh, uh, how do I feel? Uh, for one, the buzz is coming. <laughs> that one spike the punch. Uh, make a uh, make a constitution roll. Oh, <laughs> yo! I'm so proud of Katie. Okay. Uh, Katie, uh, you are the first level of drunk. Uh, a, any sanity reduction of one or uh, of of one point, you can just completely ignore. Um, however, you will have a penalty on some tests, as you can begin to feel like, oh, that hit you fast, and you're not the biggest person. Um, you don't immediately feel anything else, though. Katie, I think I think uh, I think Violet said that Clarissa is the one organizing the drinks. I, if Clarissa's doing it, then it's it's bad news. Okay, okay, it's. I don't think it's the punch. I think it's just. I think it's just teenagers, I, or, you know, young adults. Anyway, um... No, I, no, no, Clarissa's one of them. Yeah, no, I, I get you, but I don't think that whatever's, whatever they're doing, I don't think it's in the punt. We gotta get... We gotta do, Next step of the plan. We get back, we try and follow Clarissa, see what she's doing. She's doing prep, right? Prep, whatever she's working on. Did we see what she was carrying? I, uh, we haven't seen Clarissa yet. You we saw just her heard. go back briefly. She had, a, she had a tray of empty drinks when she was leaving. She's doing the drinks. Katie, uh, um, at I'm, I'm going to have to carry out of you here at this break. <laughs> at this point, uh, the band completely dies down and Dean Mariner's Bricknell is taking the stage to address the students. However, a few minutes ago, we go back to Sebastian and Joe. Um, Seb, you've got like Joe on your arm and as you walk forward, uh, Jarvis, who, you know, six cents, heard his name, turns around and begins to walk through. And in the middle of the floor, with people kind of like, you know, dancing a little rowdily around him, he, like, feigns a heart attack, falls to one knee, and you can just hear, a vision! A vision! Uh, and his buddy's just standing behind him, rolling his eyes. Uh, he's clearly <laughs> looking at you, Joe. Seb. <laughs> Joe? I if I kill you. him, it'll be worth it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Just smile and giggle. I'm, mm, I don't think I'm capable of that, but... Well, then just be you. 
Apparently he's, he was probably met me or I don't know, I don't remember this full. I just gotta like pat her on the arm and go, genuinely we are as stupid as we look. Just go. <laughs> yeah. He, I um, mean. He pushes himself this, off this the This is floor. worse than the glass. I know. And then I will, uh, we'll just go, Jarvis. McCarthy. Oh, may uh, I present Miss uh, Josephine Johnson, I, uh, and, and Miss Johnson, may I uh, present to you Mr. Robert, I don't remember the middle bit. Lodge but. Jarvis, it is my Robert Lodge Jarvis. absolute pleasure. You know, I'm president of the Delta Phi fraternity we have here. You've probably heard of me, and my father's rather uh, important in these parts. I also, I swim on the team, I have a very uh, respectable grade, and uh, I have a, uh, a business proposition lined up in the future where I'll be joining my father's company. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to to meet you. Just, uh, cool. And just like <laughs> reaches down to shake his hand. He clearly like expects cool. a way. Normally, that gets a way bigger reaction. He goes, ah, yes. Uh, smooths his hair back. Uh, can, can I uh, offer you a drink or anything? Uh, perhaps you'd like to dance. Robert, was it? Uh, yes. Uh, Robert Lodge Jarvis. Right, right. Can I call you Bobby? Uh, Listen, I, I'm so sorry. Really I'm just really. I'm in a bit of a, a, a bit of a mood. I'm sure you understand. This is a, a lovely, lovely party. Everybody's gone to such trouble. Yes. But yes, I. Unfortunately, actually... the uh, security guard at the door was a little bit overzealous with me uh, and thought my perfume bottle had booze in it. And she's gonna lean and be like, it didn't. This but the bag did have my lipstick in it, and I just, uh, I just, I'm just not looking my best. So uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to have a drink with you. Not looking your Robert best. Robert, I'm to the lodge. I, uh, I, I, I simply couldn't raise a glass with you without, um, you know, as the, as the head of the fraternity. Delta and Phi. The, yes, Delta You're Phi You're telling fraternity. me that that ape at the front door took a woman's purse, uncalled for, ungentlemanly, not bloody happening to me, man. <laughs> and he rallies the boy. <laughs> and he begins to storm through the things. You can just hear him snapping at me. And he goes, ah, yeah. who's in front of the front door? I'll have a word with him. Bastards! Bastards them all! Uh, he does seem a little revved up. That's also just kind of him, though. Well, that was... He's not so bad. <laughs> that was easy. I thought I he's was... He's not that to... terrible, actually. He's, I mean, I've met worse, but... That's what I mean, you know, he's a slimy asshole, but... Yeah, he's a lot. Yes. I'm gonna keep calling him Bobby, though. He hated that. He oh, absolutely. That. You know, if anyone could get away with it, it's you, Joe. Yeah, um, I mean, maybe I guess that's that must be what he's into because if I've met him, I don't remember, and if he's not memorable, I certainly wasn't nice to him. Uh, at this point, up on stage, uh, you can see Dean Mariners Bricknell uh, heading towards the podium to address the students. Uh, the band dies down and they begin to call for hush. Uh, they also will uh, let out, like, a, a, if we could get everyone to gather in the principal theater for the president's address, everyone could just move through a push to the front. There's plenty of space at the front. Push to the front. Um, and people begin to gather. Uh, is anyone trying to slip away um, or do anything else? Um, you, The four of you can all see one another in timelines. <laughs> Recommit. Uh, is the, like, upstairs area that is a little bit away from things, does that overlook the main hall? No, like, no, that's okay, separate. So that... This is a large, like, two-story section, all get up. It's like, they use it for theatres and, and events. Did you say there were any, like, rooms off from this hall, or were they all in the other areas? There are the- there is the shot straight back out to the lobby. There is the ways out towards the back stage. And then there's up on the stage, you can get to backstage as well. So p behind the catering or out there. Otherwise, it's just like, there's two sets of large double doors. Mm. And students are already beginning to, like, be pushed through them and into the- into the event. It's kind of like, this will be like the kickoff, and then the real party will start. Ooh. It's very suspicious that they're getting everyone together. It's, you've been to events before, that is regular. That's what would happen. Like, they'd get around and get a talk. That I said, mean, at this particular event. It's... And looking around, so the, actual, the act of getting everyone together is not suspicious necessarily, but as people are flooding through, there's, like, uh, tension. 
and people are like shoving one another a bit um over towards the corner as people begin to get towards the front you begin to hear like ah fuck uh and people by the like one of the tables is like jostled and think like food begins to fall off the other side um towards the ground you hear a, a punch ball shatter and liquid begins to pull across the floor uh, i'd like seb what is what the what the fuck I don't know. Um, I'd like to... I, I think we should try and get behind the stage, if possible. I'd like to be near what's going yeah. on, but not in the crowd. And I want my mm. gasoline. Mm. Uh, 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 Katie, whatever's, whatever, whatever's about to happen, I think it's about... I think whatever's going to happen, I think it's about the to happen. Four of you all together, so we can all talk. Wait, wait, is this, has Lodge come back with my bag yet? Uh, no, not yet. He just left as people I, are beginning uh, to come. He's, like, trying to move through I, the I, I can't go in there. I can't, I'm not going in there without without my bag. I, I, I'll wait for Lodge, but I want to get my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get my make, gasoline, uh, and I think the stage behind the stage is a good idea. Um, people are getting riled up. Something's about to happen. Something yeah, that, gotta, the crowd's about to turn violent. I think we got to make sure the exits are open. I think uh, I think I th there's a good chance that that whatever they're planning involves keeping everyone in here while it all we goes up. We shouldn't be in that so, crowd. Okay. okay. All right. Well, I can get behind the stage. Yeah. Do, do, I, you, I, yeah. You want to be staying out here anyway to wait for your bag? Can you? I gotta get my bag, and then I want to I want to circle around, and then. So you are in the okay. principal hall at the moment. You will need to like make a strength roll to get through the crowd and out to the other side of this point, or you try and Basically, go through a back backstage. I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for. Oh, we've lost Alex again. Oh, presumably waiting for um, Jarvis to come back. Yeah. Um, the question Lodge is, my bag, which will be outside, so not in the principal hall. Yeah, that's fine. Yay. So you'll need to strength to to get through there <laughs> and towards the back. So Joe's going to try and ship break. Uh, icebreaker ship through the the crowd yeah. again towards the outside. Uh, Seb, Chaz, and Katie, what are the three of you doing? Here's what I'm thinking. I want to go to the obvious exits and make sure I can get them to stay open. Chaz, if, if they're doing something back there, we're going to need you to stop them. Um, All right. Joe, can you, can you while you're out here, can you grab the exits and the three of us will head to the back? I mean, I want to, yeah. like, I want to, like, smash the hinges. I want to break the locks, make sure the doors can't be shut. Are you gonna do that joke? In... At the, the front doors, the main the main double doors. There's two sets of large ones. Yep. All yeah. the ones I can find. And uh, okay. the windows, you okay. know. Have there's no windows, windows in make here. Make sure they can be easily smashed. No windows in here. But um, no yeah, windows. Just, you can just make sure that people aren't gonna get sealed in. I want my bag. The other thing is in the in the principal theater, when we're looking at the stage, is there like um lighting stuff at the top, mm -hmm. like a catwalk sort of deal? Okay. Yep. Good to know. I think whatever's happening, Clarissa's got to do with it. I think that as many of us as uh, as can, who don't need to be actively getting the bag or breaking exits, need to go into the back room and confront Clarissa now. I yeah. I think it's reasonable that, that Chaz, Chaz has a moment to secure doors and then he joins us as quickly as possible. That's fine. You and I, Katie, can go into the back, pretend to be Violet, find Clarissa, at least somewhere close to whatever conversation is going to happen on stage if we need to stop that somehow. Um, I'll get my bag, loop around, and come back in as soon as I can. Okay, okay. so confirming, Joe is going to shipbreak through the crowd and to the other side. Chaz is going to stay inside the principal theatre but heading around and break their hinges so the doors can't be closed. Uh, Seb and Katie, you're sticking near the catering exit but staying in the room so you can hear the whatever's going to uh, happen and move away. You said there was a backstage, like behind the stage, is that correct? Yeah, so you're looking up at the like the raised stage which has uh, a on that all the musicians towards the back and then a podium before them where the dean is currently standing from there you can go to the two sides through the wings and get backstage otherwise you can get backstage past the catering tables on the right hand side that's where violet's been coming and going and that leads straight out to the to the like car bay yeah the, the idea is that um wherever we are backstage i literally want to be near the stage so that if i need to step up on it okay I can do so. In that so case, that's you what can, I mean by you can stick to the right hand wall. You you won't be able to get backstage easily, but you can stick to the right hand wall and head all the way through to the, the front where there's stairs. Fine. Well, you're yep. not going back. You're staying in the main section. If you go through the, you're gonna need to make a roll to go backstage if you want to try that. Because <laughs> even <laughs> even at the moment, even at the moment, most of the wait staff are being herded out to like because they're also students. They need to hear that. Mm. They want to hear the dean's address. So people aren't really going that way either. But you can just head all the way to the front. There are a set of stairs up to the stage, and then you could always vault those and you're up on the stage if necessary. Yeah, I want to be near the stage and just sort of, like, near the stage and, if possible, as much out of the crush of people directly sure. in front of the stage and more, like, like to the side. And hopefully it's yeah. okay, but it's, it's all pretty jammy. Uh, Katie, what are you doing? I think that I think that I'm going to try and go the same route that essentially worked last time. If I can get back into the main kitchens, even since it's not directly the same route, I can probably use the back rooms to try and link back up with Seb. 
Okay, so, and Katie, you're going to head backstage. So, pass through the kitchens. Yep. Um, and then, again, you won't, you're, you could bet you're, you're out of the, the, the crush. Okay, uh, so, uh, some rolls first. Uh, Joe, can you give me a strength roll to push through? Chaz, can you give me mechanical repair? I think we've done in the past for sabotaging hinges and things. Uh, Seb, you're good. You just get yourself in position. You're keeping... Actually, give me a spot hidden roll, Seb. Just that might be something you notice. Uh, and Katie, can you give me fast talk? Because as soon as you go back, there will be a couple people like, hey, uh, look, we're, we're trying to, you know, all the students yep. are gathering if you want to head out the front. Um, having already done this, can I take a bonus die? This is a different one. Yep, this no, is not... This is just also... Fair. You are a student. Crap. Okay. Uh, so two successes, two fails. Um, Joe, you get through the crush you like heave people out of the way, moving like, through it. And you I can start by trying. No, I don't start by trying to be polite. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I'm just, it's just shoulder forward and down, and she just. Um, several people are taking like issue with it, and you definitely get like checked a couple times and pushed back and forth. But um, eventually, you push. Okay. You get through the. You get through the the doors, and then from this side, you can see Jarvis heading towards the uh, the entrance uh, with his large friend in tow. Um, so you are outside. Additionally, you see coming down the stairs is Professor Roger Harold, um, along with William Noakes and Roderick Block. Uh, actually, Block then stands at the top of the stairs stairs uh like raises a hand and checks a watch oh. uh then puts it back down and then uh, professor harold and noakes go about halfway down the stairs and then watch the students funneling in uh there's no sign of thurber or any of the others uh chaz you like divert around the rush and you're sort of like standing with the doors um they open outwards towards joe um so as people are rushing forward you like get a uh, like a you, you like you know grab just like a large fork or something and you jam it in you're able to pop one of the hinges off uh these doors will not be able to be closed and locked uh there are two but that uh you know uh prevents one of them at least yeah. katie if a crowd you... beats on them it's just going to collapse that's right that's right that's and they will get out which is the good thing uh katie you head toward to go back um and are quickly first of all you see violet heading towards you so it's like oh i can't do the double thing and also they're like gathering students so people will go like all right no best please um stay through here there's gonna be we don't need any more help at the moment we'll, we'll come back in a in a beat um and you are kind of moved towards where seb is yep. uh seb from your position you can see bricknell uh, heading up towards the stage craning around you can't see any signs of any of the other students the uh the kids that were on the expedition um but you're keeping an eye out as they all come in um so with joe outside but the other three all inside the theater um students begin to like move into the center um and uh, a, a hush kind of falls um the doors from where you are chaz are uh, like swing just passively, do swing closed just to keep uh, the the sounds um, in check. Although your one, the one that you sabotage, like creaks and hit, swings a little bit and and uh, doesn't finish shutting. Um, Joe, where you are, you've stepped outside and you begin to head after Jarvis just to get out of line of sight. You now see Noakes yeah. head down the stairs and towards the set of doors. Um, Dean one Brick eye. Dean Bricknell heads up and onto the stage. Um, the uh, students in the band play like a short little jaunty tune to announce him. Um, but one of the kids on the side on a trumpet borks it and you hear like a... <laughs> um, and uh, the Dean whirls around him and shoots like a glare at this kid and then um, shifts himself into position in front of the podium. Um, he, uh, You can see he's sweating. He's got like uh, beads along his brow, uh, and he and he glowers down at, at the students, clearly like visibly perturbed. His hands gripping the thing. He, he coughs. It. <clears throat> well, I'm glad to see all of you uh, gathered here on this uh, mm, lovely evening. Would you settle down? Be still. As you all know, the Antarctic trip is going well, and we, we wish them luck as they continue south. They'll just now be perhaps witnessing their first ice fl I don't know why I'm talking. I don't know why I'm talking. Shut up. Someone, these lights off me. Begins to like undo his shirt a bit and like unloosens the tie. Like as he pads away, you can see like a sheen of sweat and he drips down and he goes, God. I'd like to wish you all the best of best of luck in the in the coming semester uh seven katie where you are students begin to push into one another um and towards the back Chaz, one girl gets towards the thing and wretches vomiting onto the floor in front of her and he says oh. best of luck 
in the new semester. Uh, he picks up the podium, throws it backwards. One of the kids, like who was playing, like uh, seems to be just kind of confused, holding his trumpet, looks around as another student with a trombone slams it into his head, and the kid reels backwards, and a brawl erupts throughout the room. Uh, Joe, from your perspective, you see Noak suddenly close the remaining distance towards the to the stairs, slams against it, and begins to lower locks on the inside no, to lock people in. Absolutely not. Uh, we're gonna come back as all of you jump into action, but. But first, Katie and Joe, who consumed the food, I need you to both make luck rolls. Oh, oh good, I'm oh, Here we oh, go. Oh. <laughs> I have 13 luck. 12, let's do this. Failure. Oh my God, oh. Joe, Same. it just so happens what you ate oh, had God. nothing in it. Katie, could you please make another constitution roll? Here we go, constitution coming up. Failure. Katie. Rage takes you, red miss, baby. Let's go. Uh, so as as uh, rage rage fills you, uh, Chaz, uh, you can see the doors begin to buckle. Joe, you are in control. Uh, we will take a short, uh, let's call it a ten minute break, and then we will be back to uh, continue the story. We'll see you shortly. Ciao. Hello and welcome back. Everything has gone horribly, horribly wrong. Um, so as the brawl breaks out, um, people begin to lose it. Uh, the Dean himself has like torn his shirt apart and just goes to body one of the trombone players. Um, it looks as though it's not everyone. It's about a 2080 split people that have gone ape shit, but the people that haven't are concerned uh, and they're what, now beginning to the run ratio? about 2080, so 20% 20... are uh, mad and, and seem to be like oh. uh, aggressively violent but they're chasing Great. out everyone else into chaos. Immediately they move to slam into the doors oh, uh, where... Everyone is still muted according to chat Muted That's a curious Oh the zoom's not going through, what the hell Oh, you love to see it. I have no idea what's done that. We'll dance instead. Oh, there we go. We're good. No, 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 no I think it's coming needed. through. Still no sounds. I can hear you. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. All right. Okay. Awesome. Sorry yeah, about that. I shouldn't have interrupted. Uh, Do we want to come back? No, we're okay. <laughs> to I think the we're YouTube. Good. Oh, All right. Oh. I did. I did have to restart the stream, so there might have been a little. Like, okay. It's fine. Dip. YouTube can watch our flubs. That's <laughs> that's their that's our gift to them. We give them the uncut, unedited, blah blah blah. Uh, people begin to go, so about, yeah, 2080, um, 20% 20 are, have gone mad, um, they begin to slam down, uh, what is everyone's immediate reactions? Uh, Katie, you are effectively bloodlust, like, uh, insane, um, uh, as you begin to just go, go mad and just begin to, uh, tear into yourselves. Uh, why don't we roll all this in dex order? It's not exactly a fight, but it's very similar to one, which I think means Joe is first. Totally does. Uh, I'm bodying notes. Okay. I am just going to run at him, um, shoulder down, and, like, rugby tackle him into the wall. Um, I love it. And I want this to hurt. Okay. Uh, as you go charging towards him, uh, you begin... Like, he goes to, like, jam one of the locks down as people begin to pummel it up to the other no. side. Uh, you no. see uh, Professor Harold does see you coming, and the last thing you see is he whirls around and heads up the stairs, Block takes a moment to look down, and then walks up them behind him. So they're both heading away upstairs somewhere. Um, okay. So Noakes has a build of one. What's your build? One, I, yeah, one. Okay, do you want to go for a maneuver to like pin him and get him away, or do you just want to body him and like just deal damage? Um, I just want to, I just want to, I want to deal damage. I just, yeah. Okay. I mean, obviously I want to get him out of the way. Yep, yep. I don't want him to be doing the locking doors thing. So um, uh, what I would say is you can go for just damage and that will, that can like, uh, you can possibly take him out. You could also just jam him away from the doors and then there's a chance the students hit it first and they just get flung open. Noting that possibly means you just like, all these people just be flooding through here as well. So it's up to you what you want to go for. Uh, that's fine. I think, um, I just don't want the doors to be locked. I don't think Joe's going to overthink and I'm probably just going to rug rugby tackle him away from the doors as hard as I can. Love to see it's it. not really maneuvering it's just I'm, i want him I, I just i want to knock him into a wall knock him down and i want it to hurt okay he's gonna go for dodge uh what did, your build is one right build mm. one okay so then it's, they're even so you're rolling one dice uh he's rolling one dice as well so i'm gonna roll for am his. i rolling you're fighting do, do I, <gasps> can i do like is this, i want to do a dexterity thing because that's my best but yeah this is this is fighting brawl unfortunately yeah 
Which is fine. Which is fine. My fighting brawl isn't great, but... Nah. Okay, yeah. You charge towards him, and with, like, strange nimbleness, he moves away. You slam into the door, and you can feel your wounds, like, twang. Uh, and then mm -hmm. he walks down and locks it. The first door is closed, and he moves away from you, and he, and he goes, I'm real sorry, but the... the Stars are worth it. Uh, and, he, and he rushes towards the other door to begin locking uh, it. You can chase yeah. after him, uh, noting this is the door that Chaz has sabotaged. Can I, can I try and yank it off its hinges before he gets to do that? Can <laughs> yes. I, like... Uh, we'll come back to you, though, because we'll go yeah. through each resident. So that's Noakes and you. Uh, Harold and Block go up the stairs. Uh, next, I think, is... Uh... Who's up? Uh, what, what are the two of you? I know two 50? of you are tied. You're both on 50. Uh, Seb's next. Uh, so, Art, what do you want to do? You can see you're next to Katie, who starts going like... Uh, quick question. Does this seem like the kind of violence that could be directed, or is it utterly mindless? Uh, it's fairly mindless. They're okay. not using words anymore. They've re okay. regressed to, like, just guttural speech. Um... Woof. Uh, I want to get like backstage so I can get out of here and try and like find because I you said that I didn't see any of the people from like any of the not in here great then I, I want to go find them um because I don't think I could do anything here okay. at the moment so I am you, I am barreling backstage do you want to go through the um you could go up onto the uh the stage and then back through the band area or you could try and skirt through uh, the crowd to the catering section. I would say the crowd would probably be a strength roll at this point. There's just a brawl going on, and it's it's to risk and the risk is damage. Uh, if you go up the other way, I'd probably say I'd probably see dexterity because there's not that many of them. And you can just, or dodge. You just actually, it'd probably dodge as you're just like waving between uh, them. Uh, I will I will take the not not being damaged. Thank you. Okay. Uh, do you want to give me Do you want to give me a dodge roll then to to go up <laughs> and around the side? Oh, no, I, I, I do not. I do okay. not succeed. Uh, you move up past it and you're heading towards it, but a uh, like a, one of the drummers um, uh, stands in your way. Uh, the, uh, the skin of the drum has been uh, broken open and he's holding the two sticks just like they're clubs uh, and he begins to advance towards you. Um, he's going like... <laughs> Uh, and like goes like swing them towards you. Uh, he he will attack you. Uh, do you want to do you want to try and dodge or do you want to uh, try and like repost and, and shoulder him out of the way? Uh, I will attempt to. Or I will attempt to repost because I think I am. So... Oh, hang on. Uh... I don't know. I don't know. The students aren't necessarily <gasps> particularly talented. I will flag as well. This is just an average student coming at you mad in that case i will repost okay uh and i pretty much just like heft my walking stick in my hands and go to like clobber him across the side of the temple uh with a rather annoyed uh, exasperated sound of do you have any idea who i am <laughs> <laughs> amazing amazing uh, go ahead and make a fighting brawl roll and i'll roll his uh Nice. Uh, his own one is a failure. So he goes to club, you just slam him across the skull. Um, uh, you deal a bit of damage, but basically it's enough to like wind him and he, and he whirls about and you can push past him and towards the back of house. Uh, as you get through here, you can see uh, other students already beginning to like move around this area. A couple of the kids um, were watching from the wings and some of them, most of them still seem to have it together, but like one or two of them have like push their friends behind, into the curtains and like jamming them against the wall and just slugging them in the chest and you can hear like ribs cracking a bit underneath the repeated blows um that said through here you can spot like exit signs you'll be able to get outside if you follow this path um so Great. you can continue uh, the sure i will as, a, as an offhanded thing i will look at like the slightly startled looking you know like caterers and just in my best impression of my mother doing uh, her catering just go would you kindly get those imbeciles under control and then just walk on through just like okay. furiously awesome uh you, you 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 charge through uh we now go to katie and chaz who are on the same initiative who wants to go first you got a preference uh yeah i'll jump in Okay, Chaz. Uh, you see Seb hop up onto the onto the stage and like 
repulse some dude and, and power off. Uh, you also see it because you're by the doors. You hear something like slam into one of the doors. Um, and then when people begin to push against it, they can't get out. They're like rattling. And most of these people are uh, unchanged folks who are like just panic trying to get out and away and they're slamming against it trying to leave as towards the back a couple of like other kids that have clearly been turned all just like bodying them in the back of the head um what do you want to do uh yeah, do i feel like the door of sabotage is about to yes. kind of it, it if anyone pushes against this one will go straight open is anyone doing that yet not yet they're heading towards it well, okay. oh, do you, oh, sorry. Well, do you want them to just start bar barreling through it yeah so you wait for them okay but if and that's I gonna happen on side no i'll do something else that's so yep. good that's that that's right. covered that's gonna happen all right, excellent. So in that case, my first action is to rip off my cunning disguise. Oh, Chaz, <laughs> the reveal. Dedrick? I'll look at, yeah, whoever is nearby and say, don't worry. Chaz Dedrick was here the entire time. But it's very hard to do when you've got headphones over here. Yeah, <laughs> Kid next to you goes, ah, oh, <laughs> we're all going to die. Who's Chaz Dedrick? <laughs> the murderer? <laughs> the guy that killed that dude? Um, yeah, you, you get you, a couple oh, people look around. Very pink. <laughs> <laughs> a couple people look around, but they're mostly panicked by the uh, the, the moitering. Uh, where do you want to go? And then I believe you said uh, Block Noakes and Harold are running upstairs. Yes, but there is a close. Oh, actually, I guess the door, you can bust the door open because you, you, you sabotaged mm -hmm. it. Uh, Noakes, is Noakes is basically brawling with Joe on the lower level. <laughs> Block and Harold are heading upstairs. I follow Block and Harold. I'm not going to let him get away. And I'll uh, make some noise so that any companions, any of my companions can see me where I'm okay. going. Uh, so in that case, Joe, as uh, Noakes locks the first one, then whirls around to the second and charges towards it, you like run out to him and like, grab him and pull him out of the way. As the doors slam open, the crowd begins to surge forth, heading towards the exit, and Chaz is with it. He like rides the wave out and then gets to the stairs where he swings himself up it and begins to fairly dapperly uh, move up them. Uh, you Already, uh, Harold and uh, Block have like whirled about and can't be seen, but you go chasing after them. Joe, you see him going. And just and as I the... Was outside, I would have seen where they were going, so I could yell at Chaz and just be like... They're up there. It looks like they're going back to where they were, approximately, or possibly to the Teacher's Lounge. Uh, Joe, and also, if you want to, you can follow him. Last thing you see, though, uh, is as the crowd surges towards the doors, they reopen. Uh, Robert Lodge Jarvis comes in. He's holding your bag aloft. And he, he goes, was I have it! Too. I have it! And then suddenly the crowd slams <laughs> into him, and he's bodied back out from the door and out into the courtyard beyond uh, as people begin to surge away. Um, Chaz, you go charging up, but we will come back first. We will go to Katie. Katie, it is animalistic rage. Basically, it's as if you've completely forgotten who you are and you've regressed several stages in evolution. Uh, Perfect. You monkey, you hit. All right, absolutely. I am overcome with rage. Katie is is manic. She's gonna take off take off her scarf and she's gonna begin to uh, uh, and I'm gonna go forward and I am gonna fight my sister and oh. strangle her because only one may survive. Hell yes. Uh, do you want to give me a? You know what? She's she's uh, yeah. Give me an um. You know what? She's nearby. Uh, she uh, has not been partaking. She's fairly proper about all of these things, so she's not drinking. And she's suddenly looking panicked. She's at the exit into the catering thing, and she's looking around. And she sees you coming. She goes, "Oh my God, Katie! Katie, come quick! Yeah. We need to get this way!" <laughs> <laughs> and you just charge towards. Her. Do you want to give me a fighting brawl check? I would love to give you a fighting brawl check. I'm just going to use the generic student trait I have for uh, for Katie, oh, um, because I <laughs> we did stat her. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, she's my twin, so she should have the same stats as me, right? <laughs> uh, did you did you roll? Sorry, it hasn't come. I did. I did. I failed. Uh, I land on her and start kind of pouring, yelling, and not doing very much. Oh my god. Um. Okay. Uh. She tries to just push you back. Uh. And if if it's a failure from your side as well, she just like jams you away, and she goes like, "Oh my god, Katie, what the hell is going on? What's <laughs> happening to you?" But you just can't see keep coming at her and she barrels backwards through the catering turns and begins to rush away and you are just hot on her heels chasing after her um uh, and as we have established she is the more athletic of the two so she's probably quicker yeah. than you are if, she Although, gets to move did, away. Did, if I, unless i'm mistaken did she just fumble there oh the rolls haven't come through on my side so oh, i have okay. no idea All what's right. happening there we go. Uh, uh, you rolled twice dave the first roll was a regular failure and then the second roll was a fumble thank you uh, in that case it was just a failure i'm gonna i'm gonna restart my my roll Great. 22 while we're, while we're at it um okay uh so 
Oh, they are coming through here, though. That's that handy. first failure was against me, and the second one, the fumble, the 98 over 30, was against Oh, then in that case, it was it was a fumble. So, uh... Uh, she she pushes you back, Katie. Um, you don't deal any damage, but as she goes back through the door, she falls and lands on the ground and is, like, scrabbling away. Uh, she's not able to get to her feet, and she's too slow to leave as you stalk across towards her. Um, we go back to the top with Joe. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, you see Chaz um, swing around, and yeah. Nox goes for the, for the doors, but then is quickly, like, swept away by the crowd. I'm going to try and flick the one that he locked and just... Flick it back up and unlock it so there's two doors that people can get out of. Okay. I'm going to watch my bag disappear out the front door. Uh, Fuck. And then I'm going to sprint off after Chaz. Okay. All right. Uh, you turn and begin to charge up the stairs Fuck. after Chaz heading... Um, I'm not getting uh, that fucking bag. Uh, not at the moment, <laughs> at least. No. Uh, heading after Chaz and the two of you get up to the second, the second level where you can't immediately see anyone. Um, we go back to Seb, um, who gets to the backstage. Uh, where are you heading from here? <laughs> I'll unmute myself. Uh, you said that I could get to the outside from here? Yes, that's right. Do I hear the sound of people exiting through the front? Yes. Or you hear general chaos. It, yeah. Great. You may hear a couple of people shouting, like, exit this way, and going Great. in that direction. Step one, run to front. So you go all the way around? Uh, how far away am I? Uh, you're uh, you're coming out the back. It'll, that'll take you like a, a turn to get to the front. That's fine. Mainly, my aim is get to front. Where is bag slash Jarvis? Because I okay. knew he was out the front getting that, and I have a clear line okay. now to there. So <laughs> you head you head out you head around towards the front, uh, and you can see Jarvis clutching a woman's handbag, sprinting as fast as he can away from a little trail of panic of like lunatic uh, uh, students. He's going ah. This isn't proper! This isn't proper! Uh, uh, as he's just running. He's running as far away as he can, as quickly as he can. He did a general direction towards the bell tower, for what it's worth. Delightful. Uh, I will both run after him, uh, hobble after him, uh, and will yell for his attention. Okay. All right. Awesome. Uh, and I am going to head to the bell tower. Oh, absolutely. We're going there. Okay. All right. You know uh, what I put there because I told you, mm -hmm. and I'm glad that Joe did tell everybody that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we're gonna uh kind of step a little bit away from from full combat, just in, and, and as things are going on, uh, we'll go through section by section. Uh, so let's go to uh, let's do Katie first. Actually, um, you are uh, uh completely mad. Um, and your sister's cowering backwards. You can hear her. Katie's going, Katie, Katie, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? Um, what do you do? Um, I mean, if I'm completely mad and I'm going to attack, do I have an opportunity to reach within myself and try and overcome this? You know, I don't like Violet, but that's just, that's just the surface. Deep down, she's the only one who really gets me. Except for maybe Chess. <laughs> um, make a sanity roll. No, make a power roll. Uh, I'm fine. It is going to be, at this point, extreme. To All point right. Out. This is something... Pretty potent. Here we go. Uh, just a regular success. And I'm afraid, do I have enough luck to get it down? I do no. not have enough luck to get it down to an extreme, just to a hard. You can try again I'm... later, possibly, but for the moment, you just, there's nothing there. It's as if you, you, you hardly have any memories at all. Can I push the power up? No. All right, in which case I will grab a punch bowl, raise it above my head, and continue to attack and brutalize my poor sister. Okay, make a uh, make a fighting brawl roll. Okay, fantastic. That is a success. She yells, Jesus Christ, Katie, what the fuck? And then you uh -huh. slam it down so much as she tries to scramble out of the way. I'm going to give her a penalty dice because she is prone. Uh, and that is definitely going to fail. Uh, go ahead and roll uh, a d4. Um, plus your damage bonus if you have it. And as best uh, I uh, believe I am build one, but I'm just going to double check. So 1d4 plus 1d4 coming to a total of seven points of damage. Crunch. <laughs> Katie is build one? Yep, Katie's tall and relatively You let go strong. of her. She goes, Jesus Christ, Katie, what the fuck? And you slam it down on her head. You hear something crack. The glass shatters. And uh, mixing with the, like, uh, pale pink punch is 
thick, viscous red from Violet's head wound as she collapses into the ground and is taken out. Uh, you don't necessarily know if you're dead at the moment, but you don't really care. Uh, whirling around, you can see more students panicked racing around you uh, in the general direction of heading outside. I will seize handfuls of glass in my hands, dripping blood down my palms and begin to stab the shit out of everything around Fuck me. Fuck yes. Okay, uh, Katie goes ape. Uh, we go back upstairs to Chaz and Joe. Um, the two of you uh, go racing up the stairs and whirl around. You see um, uh, there's no sign of them immediately. They must have moved into it. the large section that connects one or the teacher's lounge. Um, can I get both of you to make spot hidden rolls, please? Can I just put, can I put my hand back and just make a, can I listen to see if I can hear clattering talking? I'm much better at listening. Oh, I know uh, that there's a lot of, there's not a lot of noise yeah, downstairs. It's, so. it's, yeah, it's pretty loud downstairs is, is the issue. So you can, but it'll be hard. Um, Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll say, I'll, I'll say I'll penalty, penalty dice. Never mind. Chaz has done pretty well. I'm on sure. the job. Uh, yes, a hard um, success and spot hidden. I mean, I'll, 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 I'll spot hidden. I'll look up. Yeah, mine is not good. Okay. Um, the but. two of you uh, race the, the, the spot uh, to the top, and Joe, you can't see any sign of it, but Chaz, you just make out the door is slightly ajar and, like, hasn't fully clicked closed where they've gone into the section where they were previously. Two of you race forward, and as you, as, you, as you break open the door, there's no immediate sign of them. You whirl around. It's quiet in here for the moment. There's a couple of students that dodge the... Um, like avoided the uh, the ceremony. They're sort of like moving about, but they're, they're not in this room. Um, and you, you stalk over towards the section where they were previously, grabbing the couch and moving it away. You spot a vent, a large one pulled away from the wall. And uh, Joe, you can faintly, you can both faintly hear from inside clanging as, as people are moving inside it, heading down. They went through the vent, the vent of the basement. How did they get through the vent? How did they? Did it's move? big. It's quite a lot. A okay. little bit like this. <laughs> uh, Is that you going down? Follow him. Straight in. All right. Uh, Chaz no, look at my dress, look at the vent, groan and follow. Okay. Chaz and, and take off, take off my little kitten heels and just yeet them over my shoulder. And <laughs> <laughs> look at Irene's right. dress. My mom's clothes are not doing super <laughs> great. <laughs> my dress and yeah. Um, not another dad's. Chaz and Joe. Keep a heel. I'm going to keep one heel and just carry it. I'm gonna throw one, see how, like, notice how far it goes and go, hmm, and keep the other one. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it clatters down. down around, but there's like an angle to it. And Chaz, as you get inside, you can spot there are ladder rungs welded into the side oh, of shit. this, not recently done. Like this is a part of the section. Actually, can I get both of you to make, uh, do either of you have history? Otherwise it'll be a uh, hard education. I do actually, I have a bit of history because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a war buff actually. Make it, make a history roll. Planes, uh, but you know, no, 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 okay. not my, uh, no, nothing immediately no. comes to mind. No, no. Um, actually, but even with a failure, you would know that there I'm is. The planes. Yeah, uh, but with history of the local area, there are rumors to be a tunnel system underneath uh, Arkham and specifically underneath the Miskatonic University. Uh, as you head down, yeah. you're fairly sure that's where you're heading. You as an engineering student down near the caves, there's sections of that that are rumored to, to get into it, but you never went down there yourself. Um, you it's not on my mind at the moment. You, you know, begin to lower neither, yourselves Chaz down. And I, Chaz and I aren't thinking about this. We're thinking about what do we do if we catch him. Um, awesome. You both lower yourself down, drop to the ground, and you can faintly hear the splashing of footsteps going further down somewhere near water. You have easily lowered the full level and below the uh, memorial hall at this point. Um, outside, Sebastian, you're tearing after uh, Jarvis, who's screaming in terror. Um, and you also spot, as another yell comes out, you're pretty sure that's Katie. And when you look backwards, you can see Katie with two fistfuls of glass stabbing it into the back of another student. Uh, the other student is also mad and they're just like rolling in the mud, pummeling into one another as Katie just tries to scratch them to pieces. Uh, where are you headed? Uh, how far away is the Orn Library? Uh, from here, it's a, it's, a, it's a flat sprint, but you can, you can make it out. Uh, it's it, it's it's a decent way. It's it's across the quad and further along. It'll take you a beat to get to the uh, bell tower, and then it's it's beyond that. Great. But not crazy. It's, uh, within, it's within eye. It's within. That's there, that's fine. I want to get to the I want to get to the bell tower and try and get that bag off Jarvis. Uh, mm -hmm. Whether that is catching up to him or just going Jarvis the bag man and hope that he just drops it. Yeah, drops it or tosses it or whatever. Um, so I want to do that. Okay. And then uh, possibly. 
If you want to try and get him to drop it, you could try to like yell it, like persuasion or something to get it through to him. Otherwise, uh, you could just go for constitution to just try and catch up with him and close the distance and grab it from him. He's kind of running in like zigzag circles as he tries to avoid uh, uh, losers pursuers. I love my constitution and my persuasion are the same. Oh, hey. So like, I guess I'll just try and persuade him to drop it because that way I don't have to like exhaust myself because We'll note, Seb almost died yep. two days ago. Yep. So okay. he's still a bit not great. Uh, so I will attempt to persuade him to drop it back. So Jarvis is sprinting along uh, and you yell out towards him. Go ahead and make a persuasion roll. Success. Uh, what do you yell nice. to him? Jarvis the bag man. <laughs> not a bag man. Not no, a bag man. Give me the bag. Ah, they're following the bag, of course. He lobs it, stands still <laughs> oh, for a moment, no. it lands in the ground, and he goes, they're not following the bag! They're not <laughs> following the bag! And he turns and begins to rush away as this little, like, uh, conga line of uh, mad students go heaving after him, but the, uh, the bag lands in the ground not too far from you. You rush over to grab it. Um, and you can see a couple of other students are, are kind of, like, near you-ish too, um, just in the surroundings. They've already begun to break out of the Memorial Hall and are spreading across the campus. Uh, the security that was placed all around here is like loose. They're, they're rushing over to try and break up fights and things. But you also spot one officer um, who must have like taken something uh, is holding his gun, but rather than firing it, he's just clubbing some other person on the back of the head with it um, and just like beating them down towards the ground. Um, uh, you also, so you spot Katie as well. Um, where are you headed from here? I want backup. I know mm. Which means I'm gonna go get my, my very good boy Napoleon if I can. I'm gonna go okay. see if I can convince Napoleon to get out here and maybe just maybe just get a little bit big. Just sun get has, just you sun. know get a little bit big. Sun has set, um, so uh, you can you can head towards it. Um, and as you make your way, so you begin to uh, move through the people, pushing around them and getting towards it. And as you see the library in the distance, you can make out there are several figures um, up the steps and at the door. And just as you approach, there's a resounding boom. Uh, the door splinters open. Um, an explosion rings your ears and you like can't hear anything for a moment. Um, and when you next look up, once the dust is cleared, uh, the doors to the old library have exploded open uh, and people are heading inside. Um, this far away, you can't immediately make it out, but there's only so many people it could be. Do I have time to grab some of that uh, that gasoline that was uh, stashed? Yeah, because you're kind of going in that direction. Yes, the shotguns are the the shotgun is the other way. Yeah, You'd yeah, have to go fine. back for it. I yep. cannot use a shotgun, but I will I will grab the gasoline and shunt it in this handbag and then make my it, way over. It's like over. a full jerry can. Yeah. So you you can have one like the handbag. You can just pop over your shoulder. It's like it's got a shoulder strap. You can just. Yep. Yep, I, I will. I will carry the both things as best I can, uh, and um, hobble my way over there. Can you give me a strength roll just for like speed, because it's quite large and 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 unwieldy? Oh, oh. yeah, adrenaline. Uh, you head to that, grab it, and you begin to make your way across. Mm -hmm. All right, um, uh, Chaz and Joe, you both drop down into the uh, this like subterranean tunnel. And down here, you can hear like water dripping from sections, um, and your feet are, are wet on the ground. Further up ahead, you see a flash of a torch go round a corner, um, and the sound of this fight above is muffled, echoing, and almost completely gone by this point. Um, it's dark down here. Um, what do the two of you do? Like, fish into my bra and pull out a lighter. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Yep, 100%. I was intending to set things on fire. I completely I agree. I think that's totally fine. Um, so it's it's you, you, you click it and there's like a flickering little light that goes around. It's just enough to make it the walls around you and so that you don't like fall into anything too easily, but you begin to hold it away. Uh, do you head off after the others? Y yes, yeah, yes. And we'll just look at Chaz and look at the corridor. Any chance I snagged like a knife of some kind, like a cake, cake? Cake cutting knife from you, one of the tables. The way you went thing. through isn't super easy for it. You could make a no, okay, up on the uh, up in the dance room, up in the ballroom. Yeah, you, know you you'd you'd have like a small like a large like serving spoon or something because you jammed open the doors with it, but it's not a full weapon. Do you want to make? A I'm gonna roll? offer him my shoe or stiletto. 
I'll have a look. Like a little kitten I... heel. See if I grab the knife. Yep, go for it. Uh, let me mm. just go back so we can all see it. My mouse battery is dying, so I'm slowly <laughs> making my way toward my character sheet. Uh, <laughs> oh. Unfortunately. Uh, uh, do you want to take one of Joe's shoes? I'm going to offer him the shoe. Take the shoe. Oh, is it hell able to yeah. have the stats of a small uh, switchblade? <laughs> it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be a D4, yeah. It'll so it's, it's, it's a bit of a bummer. Plus damage bonus? Yep, yep, plus damage bonus. And hell, we'll, we'll, give, it, we'll give it impaling as well. So if you extreme success yeah, someone, like you, little... can, you can jam it into their neck. Hell. All right. Um, yeah, it also gives you some excellent pun opportunities there. Something funny's afoot. Yep, yep. <laughs> what, uh, what, size I, what, what size shoe are you, Joe? Oh, she's like a nine. Stiletto size nine. Thank you. It's in the character sheet. <laughs> um, uh, Joe, you can kick off your other shoe and now she's padding. She's closer to a 10. She like padding squeezes barefoot. into the nines. If you're, if you're six foot, never mind. Yeah. yeah, she's tall. She's like a, she's pushing a 10. Yeah. Um, so padding barefoot through these sewers, you can feel like the water rushing around and it's cold and clammy underneath your feet. Um, the You're navigating by like Got flickering stockings. torchlight. Yeah, it's something. Um, it's something. And Chaz is looking back and forth, wielding the shoe as a weapon. Uh, up ahead, the, the torch goes around a corner, and you can't tell exactly where they're going. Uh, I need you guys to either make a navigation roll to move through the sewers, or, I, or track, since you are following them. You got here in time. Hmm. Uh, track? No, uh, navigate. Though I did tick navigate, apparently, earlier in this chapter. Oh, hey. But that's not going to help me now. So I guess I'll... Uh, uh, no, no, neither of those. No, I'm not good at any of these. I guess I'll roll track, because I've got a 1 in 10 chance of improving that. Yeah, oh, uh, I'll roll navigate. There we go. Variety. Failure. Six points? Do it. Do it. I got Do six it. points. Okay. Done. All right, nice. Um... Uh, that was for track, right? Yeah, nice. Yeah. Uh, so you following along, like uh, along the footsteps, and it's hard to, it's impossible to navigate. These these tunnels immediately begin to branch out. It's a mix of sewer system as well as just like old ancient tunnels, and occasionally you can see like things carved into the rocks, and you think you can hear like from down uh, corridors. And at one point, your foot steps in something that like cracks underneath it, like a, a dog's very old bone. Um, but you can spot uh, there have been chalk scratches on sections of the walls, and you occasionally see a flash of torch and it seems to be that they've marked out their own passage to make their way. You pick your way along through, and eventually it begins to um, dry out a bit, and then you realise uh, when you get to um, a hole in the, uh, in the wall that uh, this actually opens up into the engineer's clubhouse, the cave, which is underneath the Charles Tyner Science Annex. You have to like, push away a, a false wall um, and it opens up into this section. Um, already, from in here, you can hear uh, further down the section something breaking um, and you can actually smell what smell... Uh, you can smell smoke from further beyond. A mineral... But also, I don't, I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Why they? Why they do all that uh, nonsense up in the dance if they're they just going to run they down here? Need it for some sort of weird fucking ritual? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's probably a. a, a, a Noakes Noak said to me when he locked the door, "The stars are worth it." So this is probably part of the. It doesn't matter. Let's just stop him. All right. All right. All right. All right. Give me the old one, too. I can do that. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I'm uh, going to look good. Uh, <laughs> Joe's just going to look at the like the, the stained dress and like the, the soggy brown stock, and she's like, I don't. <laughs> and power off to the wall. Uh, you, you push your way out and um, head uh, further in um, towards the sounds of breaking. Uh, back outside, Katie, uh, you are uh, rolling on the ground with some other student who's trying to like push their thumbs into your eyes and squeeze them until they pop. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, do you want to go ahead and make another power roll for me? All right, fantastic. Making a power roll. That is a success. Unfortunately, hard. Do you want you uh, ah. again? No pushing for it. Yep, no worries. Um, in which case, if I am still maddened, I, I mean, I'm a, I am an animal at this stage. If they're going, if they try to get into my eyes, that means their underarms are undefended, and I'll jam the glass up in there. Awesome. Uh, do you want to go ahead and give me a fighting brawl roll, and I will oppose it with my own. Ah, failure, I'm afraid. 
My eyes! Okay, oh, and also we found the two of you just rolling in the ground, slamming mud into one another. There's like a lot of superficial bruises and cuts and scrapes, but not sure. enough to deal any lasting damage as you heave back and forth. And by this point, uh, the moon has risen high. You can end it all across campus. You can see screaming as people are running about. Uh, to you, it just smells like a hunt. Um, but to others, this is just terror as people move around. Um, uh, Seb... Uh, you uh, grab the gasoline and lug it over towards the library. Um, as you get close, you can still see like a small plume of, of um, like d uh, smoke in, in the sky and the, the doors have been completely blown off its hinges. Um, from the inside, you can hear uh, Napoleon uh, growling around something um, and uh, there is torchlight from further in. Um, as you get to the door, unless you, uh, do you just head up and, and look inside and approach? Or are you going to try and do something sneaky? Uh, no, no, I, I mean, if I feel that I can look without being immediately seen, I will at least survey the scene. Um, yep. Whether I do anything further will depend on what I see. Okay. Um, looking around, you can see uh, on the, uh, you, can, you can see inside, uh, the first set of doors being completely exploded. And then on the interior, the doors have been opened. Uh, on the ground, you can see uh, Napoleon has attacked Roderick Block and has pretty much torn his arm to shreds. Uh, it's still clamped between his teeth. However, Napoleon has also been shot uh, once or twice, and you can see he's got a huge wound down the side of his throat and is also in very bad condition. Uh, Napoleon is currently dragging Block away from the door and into the shadows, where he, like, lets go of the of the hand and goes to chomp down around his around his head. Uh, you can see Torchlight has already gotten through, though, and there are other people in the library. Holy shit. Okay, um... Uh, Seb is going to, um, <laughs> Seb has no idea what happened to him in the hospital, did he? What do you mean? Well, someone used the life of someone else to make Seb better. Yep. He didn't catch what that actually was, did he? Uh, now that you've looked into it, you would begin to suspect it was some type of magic, but... You only heard the words very faintly, and you don't know the you don't know what else is beneath that. That said, um, is is the is the thought that if Seb could, he would try and move some of the lifeblood across. It's it's before before Napoleon chumps uh, block completely, uh, attempting in that moment to give Napoleon the ability to chomp and absorb. So when he does actually go and mutilate Block's head in the, that moment it's like a vampiric thing it's... so yeah it's very much like it's honestly i feel like it's almost instinctual for seb to be like i want you to be okay yep please some and i'm just gonna try because mm, if seb of all people has been working really hard to be friends with this dog yeah <laughs> oh, i yeah. care about this dog oh yeah uh there is a mechanic called the spontaneous use of the cthulhu mythos skill which is ah. for exactly this sort of thing um hey. uh so However, there's going to be stakes for this. This is you trying to cast unlearned and misheard spells mm -hmm. with unknown consequences. Mm -hmm. um, failure here is going to be dire, and even success might have limited results. However, you can go ahead and make the full mythos roll, and if you succeed, some moat of your um, plan might come to action. Do it for the puppy! <laughs> it is... If I fail this roll, this roll, is it that I just cannot proceed? No. Failing this roll is trying to cast a spell, drawing on your power. This failing the roll will have consequences right out of the gate. Great, because my Cthulhu Mythos is eight, so there mm -hmm. is like really this is bad. This is this is tampering with this is this is trying to invoke uh, science and magic that you do not remotely understand. You have not had taken the time to learn the spell, and you your your understanding of the mythos is only at the very very beginning of yeah. your your path. Uh, just the risk, like the risk is is a bit more than I want to take. Because if it hurts Napoleon, I will literally never forgive myself. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's not even if it hurts me or anyone else. It's like, if I make this worse for the dog, not cool. Uh, what I might do instead then is I might attempt a first aid. 
Um, okay. Because my parents are trained doctors and psychiatrists, so at least to try and stabilize Napoleon so that he can potentially not die um, and maybe help us um, if okay. that's an option. Um, you head, uh, you begin to head in. Um, as you do, you hear a crunch as uh, Block's head, the skull is broken. You hear a, oh. like a gurgling <laughs> as uh, it breaks. Uh, and then like a another crunching sound as Napoleon shifts. Uh, go ahead and make a sanity roll for me. Okay. Eat it. She'll be right. <laughs> uh, um, I also know that this isn't Block. Like, I think Seb is fully aware that these are like people who have made some kind of deal with the devil and they kind of deserve everything they're getting. Um, and also, they hurt Napoleon. Yep. Um, his legs, like, twitch a little bit on the ground and then begin to go limp. Um, and when you step inside, uh, you've carried a torch in the past, so you can have a... a, a you can, like, a click, click a torch open if, if you wish. Um, again, suddenly you see uh, from the darkness, because Napoleon's receded, uh, these twin, like, globes of eyes look up towards you um, and flash with light. And then you hear from around blocks, like, half skull, a very wet growl as blood bubbles a little bit underneath it um and he warns you not to approach uh i will say buddy i'd like to try and deal with some of those wounds for you would you let me and i'm gonna try and like just i feel like napoleon is a is is not entirely a dog so seb is talking as though he will understand mm -hmm. i don't know if that's true or not um and is going to uh state intent before moving further Okay. Uh, do you have natural world? I do. That would I, have, be, that would be I have base, with but I have persuade. <laughs> okay. Persuade and or charm, because I have said I've been feeding this dog. I do not have natural world. I've got base natural world. Go ahead and make a uh, make a persuasion. Actually, it'd be it'd be it'd be charm. Uh, make a charm check. It's going to be hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, as soon as you begin to go cross, the 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 growl repeats I, and. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and he's also standing between you and the door to get further in. Oh, right. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. uh... He takes, like, a step forward and you see his, like, his leg almost buckles underneath it, but he doesn't stand down. In that case, I will take some steps back. I'm not going to leave the library, uh, but I will take a few steps back and listen to see if I can hear the others because we did say we would meet at the library and I'm mm. waiting for the pack okay uh as you take a step back uh napoleon retreats and once you like you get to like the doorway like it's clear that you're not heading forward uh napoleon uh tenderly walks forward shoves open the door and heads into the library cool was, um and you're gonna nice. wait there for a bit i'm gonna wait there to for the others yeah I don't, this is not something seb can do on his own okay all right uh, back down in the science annex, uh, Joe and Chaz, you creep forward. Uh, you can hear the crackle of flames uh, and smoke is beginning to spill out into the corridor. It's clearly coming from Professor Learmont's laboratory. Uh, additionally, right. at the very peripheral of your hearing, Shit, they're burning his notes. you can hear like a... Uh... Oh, good. How would he do? <sighs> We, we gotta keep it. Fire extinguishers haven't been invented yet, have they? I think they have, actually. Oh, they are, oh, well, I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm assuming the engineering department's gonna have one of those. So. I'd, I'd, I'd pay that. Um, yeah, uh, you, you, you head down the thing and, and you can you can break a fire extinguisher away from the wall um, and try and head closer. Uh, are you guys sneaking up? Do you want to try and make stealth rolls, or are you just going to to speed. basically just head? I think speed, speed okay. is speed is the thing we want so here. Like rushing? stealth. I'm not stealthy. I don't know if Chaz is particularly stealthy. A little bit. I mean, he's gotten I'm, better, but not much. I'm quick. Let's be quick. Let's okay. be quick. All right. So you guys break out of this, like, the hidden tunnel. You break, like, you, you, you wrench a fire extinguisher off the wall. And Chaz, once you're here, you can grab a makeshift club or something. It'll be a decent. Like, you can, uh, you just find a, uh, there's like an old, like, cricket paddle or something from a, an award ceremony oh, that you've you If there's, if there's like, a fire extinguisher, would there be, like, a fire axe? The, that, like, the break glass fire axe? Make a luck roll. That's a pretty good one. While you're making the luck roll, fire extinguishers actually first invented in the 1700s. They've been around for ages, so and the nice. modern one is still 100 years old in time of setting. Ah, nice. I don't want to look at me. 
Um, yeah, unfortunately not a full fire axe, uh, but there is a, there is an extinguisher, and you, you can find a makeshift club. It'll be a, it'll be a d6, um, which I'll is definitely. I'll take my shoe back. <laughs> Give me that shit. Uh, and then you both. Oh well, a, a small club is a d6. A large club is a d8. Oh, uh, you're gonna will into. You want to limit it to two hands, so you can't do anything else. Yeah, go d8. Hell yeah. I mean, it's um, what he's good at. Yeah, you find like a large bat or something like uh, along the wall, and you can you can you can use that uh, with lethal effect. Um, so with those in hand, you guys rush round the corner, um, and you can begin to hear crackling fire from the interior, and smoke billows out along with that undercurrent of like a. Um, uh, mush pushing through smoke, your eyes begin to blink and, and, and water. Uh, you can see that the door has been broken open and inside is uh, William Noakes. He's standing over Professor Learmont, who has been laid flat across one of the tables, like the, uh, the, the practice things. Um, and from your perspective, uh, you can't see the top of his head, but as Noakes leans over, cutting around it, he then looks up. He's got like a, a mask pulled over, and when he holds on, the scalp, including skull, have been removed from Professor Learmont, who is out of it. And Noakes is holding some weird, like little whizzing surgical device. From the office, which continues in, you see Professor Harold emerge. He's taken off his jacket, rolled up his sleeves, and he's clutching documents in a hand as well as like a a um like a little silver box of something and he throws the documents across into a like a fire which has begun to burn in the center of the room neither immediately noticed you but you're going quickly uh what do you actually so, so they will what do you do immediately i think well i'm gonna go i thought i should grab the things they're trying to burn okay so you I'm like gonna just i'm a fire extinguisher it okay all right um, so Joe, like, you try and uh, squeeze the fire through and fly it across everything. Um, uh, Harold goes to throw the notes as Chaz comes bodying in towards him. Chaz, do you want to try and knock him out and take them, or do you want to just, uh, like, go for the fire and begin to start patting it out? Are you trying uh, to attack him or just get the notes? Just attack him. You've got a bat. In two hands, remember, you've only got, you've got the two hands with the bat, so... Yeah, we'll start with that. Okay. All right. Uh, oh so, uh, Noakes... Um, uh, uh, where am I? Sorry. Um, I tell a lie. I tell a lie because Noakes was still, Noakes was still behind you. It's not him. It's just Harold. Uh, cause mm, you got yeah. there fast enough. Uh, so, uh, it is just Harold. I, I, uh, that's my bad. Sorry. Um, uh, Learmonth is, is still, still laid removed? out. Yep. That is still, they're still happening. Um, but Learmonth is, is, uh, sorry, Harold is there by himself with the, uh, oh, with, it, with the slaves around other things. And he was, he was the one doing the surgical device. The door is open towards the back. The fire is burning. There's some things in it, but he hasn't completed his task yet. Uh, sorry. That is my bad. Um, that's all right. I'd still like to bat him. Yeah, that, that seems fair. Uh, let me check his initiative. I think you're going to be going. Yeah, the action, the action's the same. I'm putting the fire out. You're going to, you're going to club, club this dude. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, he is 55, uh, which oh. I mean, I believe Joe goes first. There are some things already on the fire and he's not about to throw more on it. No, he is standing over Learmonth with the, with the, uh, like the head removed and he's holding this little whizzing blade thing. Um, actually, I will okay. also get you, I will also get you to both make sanity rolls. Sure. That's, oh, mm, that's bad for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Tender hooks. Uh, Chaz, together. can you go ahead and take a D3, please? Okay, not too bad. All good. Um, all right, sorry, where were we? Uh, Joe, you are acting first. Uh, so he's standing over Learmonth with the head removed. He's holding the scalp in one hand and this little whizzing device. The door to the office has been busted open. There is a, there is a fire burning on the floor with a couple of documents inside it already. I would like to yeet my shoe at his head um, <laughs> and then sprint for the fire. Okay, yeah, you can do that. You just, you just chuck the shoe at him and then and then circle around him and go to the fire, um, holding the, the trigger and you begin to spray it across it. Mm -hmm. And with the extinguisher- I wanna uh, hit him with the shoe. Okay, all right, make, make, like make, I'll, a, I'll, I'll make a- I want that to like- <laughs> Make a throw roll then. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh my God. Um, all right. Embeds uh, in that open head. Of yeah. <laughs> with the with the fumble, what that is is yeah. as you throw it, he steps out of the way, but he's standing in between you and the fire, and you can't get through to him this turn. Um, so you like you, there's a short standoff, and you begin to work your way aside. But at this point, uh, he's going uh, to yeah. act. Body him next time, I guess. Okay, uh, he's going to act, and he's going to begin to head towards uh, Chaz. 
uh, he clicks the little thing and it begins to whir. Um, and he says, um, this is a, a small price to pay, Charles, for, for what we're going to be given. So stand still. Stand still. And then he lunges forward with it, trying to get it up and under your neck. Uh, do you want to repost or do you want to dodge? I repost him and I repost him moving. I bat that thing out of his hands. Okay, go for it. What? Okay, that's success. Uh, ignore the damage on this one because it's different, but that's the roll. Yeah. Oh, All right, he goes to lunge forward. You smack it out of his hands, and the little device goes flying across right. the room. Um, he, he takes a step back between you and the body um, and looks nervously towards uh, towards Joe, who's beginning to flank around to the side. Um, Chaz, it is now your turn. Does he take that damage? Is that how reposting works? No, you, your your objective was to get rid of the, the item. So oh, you, yeah, you yeah, slammed it out yeah, of his yeah, hand. Yeah. Very good, very good. Uh, and now I'd like to bat him. Okay. Um, so as you as you lean it up, uh, he, he holds his hands up. He goes, no, 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 you don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. Don't kill me, please. Tell me what I don't understand. If I don't like it, you're going in the fire. And anything. This is just the beginning. This is what we're doing here is just keeping things quiet, keeping things safe. No one else can know what's up in those hills or else more people are going to go and seek them out. Chaz, you, you, you know that. You were on the trip as well you you've you've, you've begun to see we, we had the same thing we had the same thing what 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 are you, what are you trying to say if I, people find what we've got here they're gonna go yeah. they're gonna look and they're gonna make those things those, those those beautiful beautiful things they're going to make them mad and things will be worse let us deal with all this right. now and keep it quiet all right fine no one's gonna know what happened down here good good you good. won't be alive to tell them back to the head <laughs> Um, all right, you lean back and just slam Let's across it. it. Uh, they get to try and dodge. Oh no! And with, it, with a bit, you Denver. slam it down, and they tumble out of the way. Uh, they look across at everything, um, and then get to the foot, and they're going to try and hook it towards the door, out and away. But Joe, you are acting first. Uh, uh Harold's trying. Because I was flanking around, and it was like staggering out of the way. Can I try and just, with the fire extinguisher at the end of it, just? Bang. Slow. Yeah, go for it. Make yeah. a make a fighting brawl attack, and this one will be a, will be a d6. Uh, he's gonna try to dodge again. Oh, Josephine, you ah! legend! Oh my god, this guy's a fucking uh, mess. You, I don't think you have the life for that. No, it's just like you uh, swing it out across him. It's a good thing you like uh, chuck it, or like you're still holding it. You just, it I'm just him. holding it, and I just step forward. And he ducks down and under and it slams into the glass above from the thing and, and as it begins to sprint out, he he, he uh, like holds his hand over his head to, to protect from the glass and then he hits the door, rounds it and begins to rush away. Um, as he's doing, you can hear him screaming, Nox! Nox! Nox? Nox? Gotta put the fire out. Yeah. Okay. Grab, grab anything that we're trying to burn. I gotta put the fire out. Okay. Uh, so you, you head down and begin, so like, hold the thing, you, you, you spray the, uh, the fire extinguisher across fire. There's been several rounds of burning at this point, uh, and most of it's shriveled up and blackened, uh, but some of it might Whatever. be able to be preserved. You can, like, begin to grab some of the scraps, but the fire is extinguished. Um, uh, the body with, uh, uh, of Leomonth, as you're now looking at it when you take a beat, uh, the brain is still doing, like, a... Uh, it's still beating. He's not dead. And nearby on the ground is a tall metal canister with a number of strange valves and tubes on the outside. It has been opened. And on the interior, it is very cold. And there's like a strange, like almost plasticky velvet sort of thing. Uh, and it is very brain shaped. Uh, it looks as though that was their objective. Or one of their objectives. I'm going to grab as much of the paper that can be salvaged as possible. And like a... If there's like a like a briefcase or a satchel or something, sh shove it in and I guess run after the other two. Just spare it a look, spare the weird shit a look. Just gonna leave this. We're gonna go to the library. We said we'd meet the others. Okay. And if we can stop those two, that'd be great. I Scoop grabbing. up what I can. I guess stuff it back down my bra because I don't have a bag anymore. <laughs> you can find a bag or like a something to, to carry it in around here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Like All a right. satchel or something. You grab or like somebody's, handfuls whoever, of. I mean, yeah, there'd be a there'd be a, like a like a businessy satchel sort of deal somewhere, like a messenger bag sort of deal. Yeah, uh, you grab some like improvised uh, bag and jam some of the notes into it. Uh, Chaz, what are you doing? Uh, I don't really want to let him get away. Keep on. Yeah, so you go, you go chasing after him. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, so as Joe takes a beat to, to look over things, Chaz, do you want to give me a constitution roll to, to, to catch him? And I'll just check your speeds. Yes. Uh, my speed is eight. Okay. Go ahead and make a con roll. Done. Uh, he rushes towards, he's nice. yelling, he's yelling for Noakes as he gets to the elevator and slams against it. He, he, he hammers against like the, the button to call for it and then begins to drag open the cage. The elevator is still descending as he drags the cage open uh, and he doesn't spot you coming as you just power down the, the lift towards him. Uh, what do you do? Batter up. <laughs> Slam. You're not going to push him in so he falls and the elevator squishes him? Oh, I don't mind that. Uh, the, the bat's going to render him unconscious. Who can say what happens after that? Okay. All right, go for it. Make a... Uh, make a... Swing. Oh, you know what? Unawares, take a bonus dice, but I'm still going to try and dodge. So take a, take a bonus. Roll once more. 44. Okay. And this time it's not up. That is nine damage, dude. Holy shit. Um, uh, that's enough to... Uh... Oh, he's still conscious. You close it. You slam the bat into the side of his head. Uh, he like ricochets off the wall and staggers looking up at you. You can see a proper dent. Blood's pooling down of it. Uh, and he like staggers around grabbing at it. He's, he's almost stepping back towards the lift. And he's looking at you. He's going, Dead, Dedrick, Dedrick. You have to, you have to stop all of this. You have to burn everything, or else it's just get, get. He vomits onto the ground a bit and staggers away and 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 like begins to retch. Uh, he can't. He's not doing anything. Uh, do you want to finish him off? Oh, a little bit bad. Once again, the, the paralysis right before the kill. The the Chaz Dedrick story. Just wanted to knock him out. I'd... Would it would it would it be too much to ask that Chaz just like closes his eyes at the sight of this you know hideous dent in his in his head and just kicks him toward the open elevator shaft? Hell yes. Uh, uh, you close your eyes. Um, and he sort of staggers back, and it's it's you know it's almost hard to tell. Maybe he would have fallen anyway. Uh, so maybe yeah. it's his mercy, and he's, he's in pain. Um, but you do lash out, and your boot lands squarely in his chest. And uh, Professor Harold is punted backwards as the elevator closes around him. Uh, you hear a short scream before he slams onto the ground, but no. And then underneath you, no, 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 as it crushes down on him. And then uh, a moment later, there is silence. Uh, go ahead and make a sanity roll. <laughs> Oof. I guess this one wasn't the worst. Okay. Um, Joe now comes out, not far I behind you. I was sprinting like... around the corner. I've still got the extinguisher. It's empty, but it's a good bludgeoning thing. Um, we run around the corner. Where's the professor? Where'd he go? He, he oh, fell. Shit. And the, the elevator's descended by this point. And the elevator's also like not quite level with the ground. You can see it hasn't been able to co uh, complete its journey. Yeah, I don't think Joe would register that. She'd just be like, Where'd he go? Where? Where the professor? Ah, oh, shit! At the elevator, just up and away. Okay. All right. You both head into the gonna elevator. Be ready? If Noakes is in the elevator, gonna be ready to just. Ah, uh, he Hi. isn't. Clog. He doesn't. He doesn't appear to have come down this way. Um, we both head into the elevator and uh. Uh, jam the button and begin to head up on the second level there was a guard posted here during the night but he has since left due to the chaos outside uh, so the desk is unattended and from here you can head out um, uh, onto the the chaos of the fields around and you can see in the distance uh, the Orn library where you said previously you would meet um, is it the plan to head there? yeah Okay. All right. I don't feel great about leaving the, the creepy tube but we said we'd meet at the Orn Library if things went to shit, and this is absolutely qualifying for things going to shit. And meeting up with with my pals is is higher on the priority list. Okay, all right. Um, you begin to make your way across as uh, let's check in on Katie. Uh, yeah, let's. James, can you give me a final uh, power roll? Absolutely. Here it comes. That is a failure. Okay, uh, we're going to bring you back. 
but it's gonna be in a dire situation. Uh, so uh, you've oh. been like clobbering people. Um, when you when you begin to blink back into consciousness, you still feel like uh, like almost animalistic rage at. Um, in your chest um you are surrounded by other people who are still in the throngs of the throes of 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 madness and and, and revolt um what have you most recently done oh um i i think i i think that i don't know and that's the most terrifying part that, that there's blood all over my hands and like, like I, 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 to I try pieces. to i try to get up and i'm holding like a section of someone's tie or something and i don't know what any of any of that means Awesome. Uh, make a sanity roll, please. Okay, I absolutely will. Sanity coming up. Not great. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, you lost consciousness. You don't understand what's happening. Things are chaos around you. Uh, go ahead and take a d4. Can, can I remember what I did? No. Okay. The last thing you remember is the uh is the beginning of the speech ish and honestly the whole even the bits just before that are are foggy but you can remember that section uh and additionally can you take a d3 of damage this is just from yep. moving through the brawl and being kind of a, a member of it for a while all right well if i can't remember what happened then i can't remember the horrible thing i did to my sister in which case glancing around surrounded by blood and violence i probably think okay the, the others library library that's where we meant to meet back to the library and i'll start to try and push my way through the crowd and get towards there okay um you charge towards the library and not too long after uh the four of you can all reconvene on the footsteps uh when you arrive, Chaz is holding like a bat and there's like blood Bloodied. all across it. Joe's got clutched like random papers and things I'd, all throughout I'd it. I'd be a bit singed and ash covered because <laughs> yeah. I was up close and personal with it. Uh, Katie is covered in blood and has like glass cuts all across her hands and things. Um, Sabre's probably oh. faring the best so far. My bat get a holy shit, Katie. <laughs> I I don't know what happened. I, I that Everyone was fighting and... Are there torches inside? Are they in the library? Yes. Let's go. Uh, Joe, and I'll hand the bag and the gasoline over to you uh, and go, um, right. Yes. What's the uh, plan? Do we have a plan? No. Please tell me somebody has a plan. Well, uh, if you can tell me it's someone to smash, I can smash them. Well, we go in, we find them, we stop them. I think yeah. we're past the point of plans. We just got to go. There are yeah. two options depending on who you want to listen to. Uh, the Greeks would say, win by persuasion, but not force, and Machiavelli would say, before all else, be armed. So take your pick. What would Seb say? <sighs> this is my university, and I will not have people hurting it or anything attached to my family name. Okay, let's go. And he like steals himself and the panic kind of drops away and he like plants his cane and starts making a very like I wanna say esteemed like entrance mm -hmm. forward. Oh, yeah. Like he's in control of the place, even though he's probably still shitting himself. You begin to head in inside. Um Yeah, I, I am trickling gasoline as we go. Oh, okay, just behind you, like just a trail. Just in case. Of it. Awesome. Just in case. Uh we can clean it up if we don't need it. There is no sign of Napoleon in here, and the door is slightly ajar. From inside, you can smell, once again, smoke from somewhere. Um, and as soon as the door is open, you will see on the second level up above, there is a uh, small pyre, which has been built between some of the sections. Um, and a shadowed figure moves past them, and then another book is thrown onto uh, the, onto the burning. burning. Burning books there. But what yeah. if they got into what if they got into the restricted section? They were they were trying to burn notes and 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 some creepy creepy thing to put Learman's brain into downstairs, they, and they were trying to destroy it. They don't um, want anyone to have access to what's going. They're trying to hide the truth. They're trying to bury it. If we don't, they, stop they must have that. gotten into the restricted section. We got to go. Well, do we care about that? And he'll bend several point to the the pyre. It's like slightly off to the side, but in the same general general area. So again, there's a bunch of levels on the lowest and at the top you yeah. can see the pyre. The pyre kind of throws off your vision, so you, everything else looks far too dark and you can't really see up towards the uh, restricted section. Is that, is that where the restricted section would be? Like, is that uh, the way to Further it, beyond. It's, it is on the second level, so in the same area as it, but not completely uh, the same. Let's get up. Let's stop them. Uh, if, if someone someone can deal with the pyre, uh, it's, I my, is there anything left in the extinguisher? We're in a library. There has uh, got to no, be another fire extinguisher in here. Yeah. 
reload. It's full of books. Okay, yep, you, 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 that's, you, that's fine. You, you can swap it out for another one. Um, and you begin to make, so you're all heading up towards I mean, the somebody else can yep. take that. I've got kind of got my hands full of... I got um, hands full of bat. Bat. Seb is going to stride up the stairs, yes. Okay. It looks like I'm grabbing the fire extinguisher then. I had a bit about how I was going to grab a large Oxford English Dictionary edition uh, just for some real heck, but I guess a fire extinguisher will do. Plan B. Okay, so Seb heads straight up. Uh, Katie uh, stops to grab a fire extinguisher and follows in the general direction. Uh, Chaz and yep. Joe. Was there anything else happening in the library other than the pyre? Not immediately, although as you begin to head up, uh, you can't help but feel like there's something else moving between the stacks, uh, but you don't get a clear look on them. You'd have to stop and look around if you wanted to try and spot them. Uh, can I see if I can hear anything as we walk yeah, through? Pick I up think, any, I like, think... voices or, you know, what, like, can I hear Napoleon's growling? Uh, this will slow you down if anyone wants to stop and try and listen or spot hidden. Uh, I will definitely stop and, if I spot something out of the corner of my eye through the stacks, I will pause and have a listen. Okay. Um, knowing that Likewise. somebody else is going to the, is to the fire. It's fine. I'm only okay. a couple of steps behind. So Seb and Joe are going to pause for a moment and, and listen. Don't roll just yet. Uh, Katie and Chaz. Chaz is inclined to keep looking for something to smash. Okay. So you're just, just going to yeah. go straight up to the pyre or you want to stop and try and see what else is going on? Uh, no, television. Okay, pyre. Yep. All right, so Chaz just keeps going up the stairs. I'm going to fight fire with fire. I'm heading towards the pyre, but can I take one step to the side and actually go in between the bookshelves? And try I would like mm. to attempt them stealth. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. All right, uh, Seb and Joe both make either spot hidden or listen. Katie, give me a stealth roll and Chaz, you're going to keep on powering ahead. Okay. I will luck mine to a success. Okay. All right. Um, Apparently this is the first time I have either attempted or succeeded a listen. <laughs> okay. Um, within, with, uh, with a success, you can hear the crackling of the fire up above and you can also hear um, a voice underneath it all uh, that seems to be chanting in some way. Um, uh, you'll also recognize the voice as it appears to be Laszlo's. Uh, it has that nasal little weasel sound to it. Um, oh, shit. Seems to be further up ahead. You can also hear footsteps moving somewhere inside the stacks. Uh, Joe, you're able to pinpoint it. Um, there is a figure moving down the lower levels, uh, grabbing individual books, and, and he's got a small pile of it, a very small and slight figure. Uh, Jason Trent is on the lower level, moving in darkness and grabbing books where he can't be seen. Uh, there is no sign of Napoleon. Uh, he's probably too wounded and probably collapsed somewhere after trying to, to push further. Um, and you can also hear up on the second level uh, the splashing of someone moving back and forth as there is a third um, person on the highest level splashing gasoline around the fire, um, beginning to build an even bigger pyre. Um, those appear to be three active people inside. Uh, presumably Armitage is somewhere as well, but if he is, uh, he's not moving. Um, and they're just grabbing random books off the shelves and chucking it on. Uh, no, it appears to be more um, focused than that. They appear to be taking specific and choosing. books. Uh, I will look to Joe and say... I would recognize that nasally little shit anywhere. Would you uh, care to accompany me? And perhaps we can have a little dance. There's one downstairs too. Do I now like see the person? Like, uh, is as it... you, uh, no, you actually probably wouldn't. As as mm -hmm. you guys have moved in, they're aware that the three of you are here. Uh, wherever Trent is, he's frozen. But Joe, you know yeah. where he is. He's off to that direction and and, and hidden behind a, a bookshelf. Okay. I, well. <laughs> They're all doing the same thing. They're all converging on the fire. So there's no point going after them. They'll come to us. But knowing where they are, mm -hmm. I would like to kind of nod at Seb and kind of just steer him around so we can sort of flank where I know, where I've heard people walking so that we're at least not going to be one uh, kind of squished up target for them. Yep. Just sort of flanking around and see if we can take someone out on the way to the fire. That'd be great. Okay. All right. So, so do you want to head towards? Uh, Trent is off the beaten path. You can head towards him, or you can just head straight up to the to the fire. We we want to. We, we definitely want to head towards the chanting. Um, but if we can take Trent out on the way, like you can, the, it'll just slow you down. I want to get. I want to get that. We need to disrupt the chanting more than anything else. Yeah. So that is Seb's. That is Seb's okay. aim. Is to yeah. get up to Laz. Knowing that they're there is good, but yeah, we'll we'll go straight up to the fire. Uh. If possible, I would like to do this unnoticed, but I also am not the greatest at stealth, so... Neither am I. 
Uh, do you want to? Do you guys want to try to stealth? I'll attack. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Uh, you guys are gonna be a bit behind Katie. I'm and gonna Chad. go quickly. I'm going to. If we, if I if I see we're going up the stairs, I, I'm just gonna sprint. I'm okay, not right, stealthy, don't, don't but roll I'm... stealth. You'll you'll rush up to go and try and join Chaz in a beat. Chaz and, and Katie I'll will let... still be at the front. Yep, and I'll let I'll let Seb kind of be behind. quiet if he can. Okay. Uh, Seb, go ahead and roll a stealth test. No. Okay, moving quietly. You you are you are the first at the back, but um. Uh, right. you're, you're trying to follow uh, Chaz, uh, you go up the stairs running for you. You've got like this large bat. And when you get to the highest level, uh, you can spot Clarissa Thurber has built a pyre in the center with uh, thrown on books. Uh, she's also got a large jerry can of gasoline, which she splashes on towards it. Um, and when she sees you, she stands tall, chucks the remainder of the jerry can just onto the fire. There's like a as it ignites further. Um, and she turns to face you, reaching into her pocket. She's still wearing like oh, a vest. Gun. Sorry? I'm going to assume it's a gun. <laughs> That's probably and, a good uh, one. You charge it. React appropriately. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, 100%. All right. She begins to go I for something. I will not let you finish, Dave. And you I rush. Reach the pocket, so I'm not going to let you finish. Go That's, ahead, MA. It's optimal play. <laughs> okay. I like it. If, it. if it hasn't been described in the fiction, it doesn't exist. Uh, Jim? Um, as, uh, uh, as, 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 as the charge happens, can I dart out from behind a, uh, bookshelf and, like, give one, like, ah, half-hearted hit with the, um, uh, gasoline, no, the, uh, fire extinguisher as an attempt to assist. I'm trying to grant a bonus dive Yes, chance. I, 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 like that. Um, okay, first of all, so we'll, we will go to dexterity here. Um, unfortunately, uh, Clarissa is faster, um, than the two of you. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna run this out in dexterity from here on out. Uh, Joe, you are Joe and uh, Seb, you're you're a bit behind. So this round you're you're just heading up. Uh, so Clarissa uh, is going to go first. But I am moving as first. as quickly as I can, and I'm yep. very 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 fast. Yep, I got you. Um, uh, fortunately, this round they they went on ahead. You guys yeah. stopped to listen for a beat, so there'll just be a, a second. Um, all right, Clarissa uh, reaches into her pocket, and as Chaz, you charge towards her, she pulls out this weird little twisted molten, like, lead metal thing, uh, takes a step back, and suddenly you can see sparks build, and then a charge of lightning lashes out <laughs> towards you. Uh, she is going to attempt to use this strange device. And, it's not a gun? Uh, it's not quite. Um, not, not a gun. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, no. Again? These things are uh, yeah, potent. Really? Okay. Well, Tusk? Chaz. Tusk? Come on. Uh, you take 10 damage. Oh, my God. Please tell me that you, like Seb, have more than 10 hit points just. Okay, good. Yeah. Cool. Oh, my oh that's God. a major wound. Yeah, so you're going to need to make a constitution Welcome roll. Club, uh, hang on, first, uh, make a constitution roll with a penalty dice. Because oh, the effect of being hit by it is also you go unconscious. So rather than you rolling twice, just roll once with a penalty dice. Oh my god. It's not a fumble. It's, it's not, not a fumble. No, no, a penalty. Oh, it's still not a fumble. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Chaz rushes forward. Clarissa reaches into her pocket, steps back, uh, and when she pulls it out, there's just a bolt of this like uh, lightning thing that Chaz and Chaz stumbles and slams into the ground in front of her. Um, she looks around, doesn't spot you, Katie, um, and and turns and rushes towards uh, the rare book section. Uh, and you can hear her saying, "Lazo, they're here. We need to go now." Um, uh, next to act. Dang it, Dave! I just finished rolling my sleeves up. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to. Bop. And now uh, I'm unconscious. Uh, next act is Laszlo. From inside, you can hear, just hold on, I'm almost finished. Uh, there is a um, a flare of something from the interior, and then you see you hear, ah, oh, there we go. Um, and you hear a door open. Uh, up next is uh, uh, Seb moving up, uh, and then uh, actually uh, Jason Trent is before Katie. Um, Seb, from, as you're like creeping along the shelves on the interior, you suddenly hear a, a, a creak. And then from looking between two of the books, you see these like big uh, glasses. And then uh, Jason Trent goes, hello there. Uh, and there's a bolt of something that charged from behind the shelves oh, that sorry. fires out towards you. Um, now oh you were alerted God. to where he is, so I'm not gonna roll with a bonus. Um, do you wanna try and dodge? You can, you can throw yourself prone invoking a penalty dice, but you do lose your turn. Uh, this is so bad. Do I? There is there any? I am behind a shelf of books. Do I get any kind of protection because he's, I'm behind? He's positioned for it. He he okay. he got the jump on you. He knew where you were going. Um. Is 
is is throwing myself to the ground dodging or is throwing myself to the ground like just avoiding it entirely? It is a you make a dodge roll. If you succeed, they get a penalty dice. So they still get to roll and you lose your turn. It's pretty harsh. Um it he's poked his face in like going hello there, right? You could you could repost. I would say he's close up. Yeah, right, straight in. I want to repost. Okay, here we uh, go. Uh, he got the jump on you. Hang on, let's 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 run this out. This could um, be so bad. You know what? No, you knew where he was. You kind of yeah, he listened. got the jump on you. Yeah. So you kind of hardly so he goes hello there, uh, and then you hear the jolt, and you just go to slam it, jab it through the shells. Uh, go ahead and make a uh, brawl. If he wins, uh, he will deal the damage. Oh no. Ah, uh, you might want to luck that. I, oh, I don't. Never. I don't have enough. I don't think. And this, I'd still lose anyway. Oh, no. Yeah. All right. Uh, the cane goes through, but as it slams again, you hear a <laughs> as you are struck once again by the same thing. You take four damage. Oh, Does that reduce you to zero? Nope. Uh, go ahead and make a Constitution roll again with a penalty dice because you do have a major wound. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh. And Watch Seb out. goes. Down, slam into the ground from further back. Um, uh, the Joe, as you are rushing up, you saw the <laughs> from behind, uh, and there's no more sound. Uh, next is Katie. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, um, I think I think I I, I I I don't really know what's going on downstairs at this stage, so I probably act on in, you know, on instinct. Uh, I, 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 with everyone going down, I don't think I can afford to focus all the fire on Joe and get a stay hidden. So I will yell Shaz at the top of my lungs, seeing him get struck, and I will rush towards Clarissa, and she was next to the stairs, so she's going over to break her neck on the ground. Okay. Uh, I will fight very briefly. Uh, Chaz has a major wound, and he's on zero. No, he's sorry. Oh, you're not on zero? Okay, sorry. But I am unconscious, corrected. right? You are fine, then. You are not rolling to uh, not yep. die. You are just in bad condition. Okay, yeah. Uh, give me a fighting brawl roll, James. You have a bonus dice. Uh, what build are you? I am build one. You have two and bonus just quickly, dice. If I'm going next, and I'm really, really quick, I, can I, I mean, she's already got a bonus dice, but thank you for another one. Okay. Uh, you you can you will act before Clarissa. You are faster than her, so you can be yep. you can go okay. on your you can go next right. if you want to try. Back up. Um, uh, Clarissa is going to try and dodge. Uh, one quick thing, there. I, I might be wrong here, but it just occurred to me. I think that genuinely the surprise attack condition is they don't they get, don't a, get they, to yeah yep. they don't get to do anything. Nice. So we should double check that. But I'm happy to just no no no. Up, you know what? Can... This is uh, this is getting fairly uh, meaty at this point. Yeah. You know, I know. I, I think it is. I think it is. You don't get a bonus dice, but if you succeed, they don't get a chance to yes. counter. So in that case, but roll once with a bonus dice. Once for bonus and dice. And she I don't won't have great dodge. Fighting brawl. Okay. Here we go. Uh, yeah, no. Oh. Well, let's let's do that. I think I think mm. that is right. Mm, no, nah, not enough, and I do not have the luck to do it. Okay, uh, you rush forward um, towards, but as you grab her, she jams against the banisters and like uh, recoils around them. She begins to pull the little like the the device around. You can feel something cold against your chest as Joe comes barreling round the corner. Uh, Joe, you're up next. I just want to eat her over the balcony. Um, <laughs> I just want to grab her, grab her legs and flip her back over. Okay, make it um, fun. Make a fighting yep. brawl roll. She will try to uh, counter this one. Uh, she's going to do a brawl yeah, herself, and she's going to try and send you over the balcony. Okay. Um, uh, what, do you, what build are you? Oh, fuck, say. Uh, uh, you're build one, so you uh, should still. Roll with a bonus dice. This Come is on. a wall of red. No. Oh, do, you have, do you have two points of luck? Wait, I seven do. points. Seven points? Oh, thank she God. Has, she has I failed. If you, if you spend this, she goes over. Oh, the luck. We yeah. need it. Oh, yeah, I'm spending it. Okay, all right. Um, she, like, goes to charge. Katie, you begin to hear something crackling against you, and then suddenly she's bodied by Joe. She goes over the edge um, and slams down, knocking onto one of the shelves as she descends and then slams onto the ground beneath. Uh, I'm going to do 2d6 to her. Uh, that is enough to force her to make a constitution roll. Uh, she whams onto the ground, uh, and but you can see something. She is moving down there, um, although she is badly wounded. Um, all right. Uh, that was five. Quick question. Yes. I am happy if the answer is no, mm -hmm. but I have had a handgun on me for quite a while. Is it reasonable that that is tucked into the back of my pants? Because uh, I've been carrying it around with me for the whole time. Yeah, bringing it into the party without flagging it is... Mm. 
Uh, so it, it'd probably be a luck roll. Okay. Let's find out. Because I think that when you guys like stash the shotguns and things. Uh, yeah, I think I'd well, say it's with the shotguns and stuff. So you know where it oh. is and you can get access to it. But unfortunately, I don't think well, you'd have. I can't. <laughs> yes, yeah, that is also true. Um, okay. Uh, that was Joe. Clarissa, uh, you can hear like groaning on the ground. Uh, and then she begins to, to move again on the highest level. The only one currently up there appears to be Laszlo. Um, you hear from the inside the, the door creep open and something moving about in the restricted collection, uh, where, um, uh, cases begin to get wrenched open. And, uh, then you can hear a little bit of smoke from that room as well. Um, like crackling a fire and, uh beginning to burn uh extinguish uh trent is also on the lowest level and begins to make her way up so both trent and clarissa neither hidden are coming up the stairs when we go to katie <sighs> ah okay. we, we gotta stop we go we, we gotta stop we gotta stop last low take them they're split apart for now and i will uh run in yeah. to the restricted collection okay uh you rush in um, and break open the room and inside you can see that uh, Laszlo has broken open the door and is throwing books, uh, sorry, like broken open shells and is throwing books onto a small pile which is beginning to grow. Intention was probably to originally bring it out to pyre but he's improvising. Uh, he's not dressed in a suit like the others. He's dressed in like a weird, like almost um, woolen turtleneck or something and overly tight pants with very shiny pointed shoes and uh, holstered at his hip is a 38 uh, pistol, which he's got jammed, uh, just, just put, folded into the side. Um, as you come in, Katie, uh, he turns around and he looks and goes, Miss Wilkes, surprised that you're the last one standing. Truth told, I always thought it might be Dedrick. Um, I, 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 shut up! As I charge at him, basically. Okay. I'm not one for smart words. Do you have the fire extinguisher still? Yes, I do. Can you put yeah. the fire yeah, out that's just the, that's, to piss yeah. him off? So um, you, got, um, you, got to, you got to extinguish the fire? Well, I, I, I mean... What do you want to take? You know Joe's right behind you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that we're both running, so I think that uh, I'll I'll pile in and, and I'll, I'll, I'll attempt to apply a bonus die to Joe's role. Okay, so you're going to you're gonna get Joe set yeah. up. So I begin to harass him and struggle with him and we're I all just over put, the just place. Put the fire out. Oh, fire out? Okay, I fire out. If you yell fire out... No, I... you know that I'm... Well, I, yep. as I'm tipping Clarissa over, I'd be like, get the fire out! Okay. Okay. All right, perfect. In which case, you know I, right behind you. Blast, I blast the room full of, with the fire extinguisher. Okay. Um, uh, you, you blast it and, and like that white foam begins to spray ac across the fire, uh, dowsing it, but also, you know, coating over all the books. Uh, Laszlo Scarson goes, a temporary bomb, Miss Wilkes. This ends tonight. Uh, and then Joe explodes through the door. <laughs> uh, Joe, what do you want to do? I want to body him. All right, make a fighting brawl check. Is the objective to do damage? Um... I, I don't have great fighting brawl. I'm, I'm more dexterous and better at, like, dodging, dodging stuff, so... Get his gun away, maybe? Yeah. Like, maybe wrench the gun out of his hand. Okay, like, so you're twist it out of his him? hand or something. Okay. <sighs> Uh, go for it. Uh, so the objective is to try and get the gun out of his hand. Um, he is going to flick out a small pen knife, and as you go for it, he's going to try and jam it up and under your ribs. Ooh. Uh, sure. <laughs> I'm not very good at brawl. Nah. Nah. Um, uh, that didn't roll, so give me a moment. Oh, it did roll on this side. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, sorry, the, the, damage, the damage, oh, the, the damage, damage didn't roll, the damage didn't roll. All right, roll. gotcha, gotcha. Come on. And I don't get to dodge from that damage or anything, do I? Nope. Uh, oh. No, because that is, oh, as you God, go for it, you feel something like jam up under your ribs, yeah, no, no, and he no, leaves okay. it in there, taking a step back and breathing through sure. his mouth. That's fine. Cool. That's, 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 yep, that's fine. That's good and fine. Uh, good and you fine. You have a major wound, so you do need to make a constitution roll. It's good and fine. We're good and fine. We're good and fine. Whoa. We're good and fine. Oh, Everything's knife. fine. We're so as fine. you've got the knife is still jammed like up under your ribs as you like look down at him. Uh, that was your turn, and we go to him. Um, he takes a step back, uh, uh, unclips is he a the... a little bit intimidated that I'm just, oh, just like... absolutely. You're the focus now. He unclips the gun, pulls it up, and he's going to shoot it at you. Uh, you are close enough that I will allow you to dodge to, dodge, to just try and get away. This isn't even penalty dice. You are just dodging, like, because it's basically in melee. Or you could fighting brawl to try and get his ass. No, I'm dodging. Okay, all right. He's going to try and shoot you. 
Oh, nice. He like fires once, you dodge it and you close the distance, getting him up against the back where he is against the uh, the glass plated book contained within is the Necronomicon. And he like jostles against it and he's trying to fire at you wildly as you close the distance. Um, uh, that ends his turn. Uh... Katie, from your set, uh, from where you are, you hear Clarissa and Trent get to the upper level and rush towards you. Um, what do you do? Do you jam the? Because you could jam the rare books door closed and try and lock them out for the time being. Or yeah, what do you I think do? that's exactly what I do. I will, I will jam the rare books uh, door closed, and I'll, you know, Joe, get him, and uh, hold the door shut. Basically, lock it as best I can. Okay, awesome. Um, all right, so you're holding it against them. They two slam in, and on this round, that's as far as they get. But next round, it's going to be strength as they try and contest yep. you and get it open. Uh, back at the top is Joe. Um, oh, boy. I technically have a knife. Yeah. I don't have a lot of hit points though, so like pulling the knife out, is that just gonna do damage no, to me? No, no, it won't. Automatic, you can totally have that. I don't uh, wanna pull the knife out of my own out of my own gut and kind of just up under the chin. So as you as, nice as you as you wrench the knife out, Lazo's like corner and he, he wipes a bit of like blood across his nose. He goes, Miss Johnston, we never had the pleasure. Shut the fuck but I knew up. your friend well. Uh, oh. as uh, you go for it. Yes. Uh, do you want to make a fighting brawl test? He's going he's to try and... Uh, he doesn't have the knife anymore, but he's going to try and like, jam his uh, palm up under your, your nose. Um, so he will brawl I'm to... not good at brawl. Okay. He doesn't get it either, though. There's just like a scuffle for a moment as you yeah. body back and forth. Uh, we then go to uh, uh, outside. Uh, Clarissa is going to slam into the door. She is not assisted by Trent. Uh, Katie, can you give me a strength roll? That's suspicious. Success. Nice. Uh, I'm. Where is Clarissa? Sorry, one moment. Um, I'm saying. I'm gonna say you've got leverage, so I'm gonna say she needs a. She needs a heart to, to get through. I think. Yeah, she fails anyway. Um, uh, you hear her slam once, and then nothing from Trent, and then you hear from outside. We've we've got your friends. Let us in, or they get it. Uh, I um. Uh, it's my it's my turn now. Uh, or... Yep, it goes to Katie. Okay. Um, uh, I will um, uh, open the door. Mm -hmm. at oh, sorry, hearing this, uh, and what I plan to do. I think this is what Chaz would have wanted. I take the Chaz solution. I open the door, and when Clary goes through, I'm going to slam it into her face Fuck yes. as hard as I can. Make a fighting <laughs> make a fighting brawl test. Um, can I? Uh, can I try and make a fast talk to sell a lie to go, okay, and open the door yes, to give me an advantage yes, on it? Yes, yes, absolutely, yes. All right, fast talk. Okay, all right. Then open the door and slam. Go ahead, roll with a bonus. 32. 32 oh, no. to 25. I points. have six points of luck remaining. I am one point of luck off. I'm just going to double check the last math I did on my luck to make sure I didn't dock one extra, but I believe it is a fail. Although, wait, no, she's bolt build one, right? Yes, you, yes yeah. you're right. You have one more bonus dice. <gasps> no, <Nah>, wouldn't have worked. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, okay. man. Okay. Uh, you you go to try and to try and slam it on. She moves through and you you get her, but she she stumbles back away from it. Um, and you see as you see uh, you hear her snap to Trent. She goes, "Fine, just take them." Um, that is Katie. Uh, we are back up to Joe, who is the only one in the room with Laszlo. Um, the two of you scuffle back and forth. Um, I am just struggling with Laszlo at this point. Um, oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Shit, I'm not good at any of this. Yeah, 45, it's I reckon it's still the go. Just brawl. Yeah, brawl, I'm just brawl. gonna I'm just gonna try and I've still got the knife in my hand and I'm just gonna keep trying to stab him. Okay. Laszlo isn't build zero, is he? No, he's build he's build build one. Oh, hang on. One second, let's probably confirm that. Laszlo is a scoring piece of shit. He's a little he's, fucker. Uh, uh, he is built he is built zero, actually, sorry. So, so can I add a You have a bonus. Play, you should have had a bonus in the previous one as well. Can I just pop a bonus on the previous one? Uh, yes. Let's go back. Go back up and. What was the previous one? It was. And it was. It was, was, a, it was a. It was a. It was a fail versus a fail. So go ahead and add a bonus dice. If this one gets through, you'll hit. Mm, yeah. Hang on. Where was it? I'm gonna scroll back up. 
Mm. Just underneath uh, extreme You dodge. got an 80. So mm. roll again and so you've got a zero. 70, still no. not. But you can go ahead. You can, you can apply it to I'll this do it one. Do again. So let's go. Nice. Back over here, bro. Oh, oh okay. That's success. Lock uh, it to uh, a crit. Jam it under his nose. Uh, uh, but like, roll again to see if you get. Oh yeah, you get, you get a bonus because he is going to try and get repulse. my bonus. Yep. Okay. Uh, he's he's rolling it's okay. his. That's okay. Uh, do you want? Can you? It to a... Yeah. Do you want? I was going to say I want to lock it to the hard. Okay. Which because he gets a hard, so that will that will uh, that will hit. Okay. Yeah, I'm locking it to a hard. All right. So two luck spent for a hard. Uh, do you have a? You would have a damage bonus because you build one, right? Yes. So roll roll a d4 plus one plus a d4. So two d4 plus one would be the simple way to say it. <laughs> oh, oh, I did the, I did that wrong. Uh, I can't remember the roll commands. Uh, slash ah. r space two d4 oh, plus slash one. Ah. Or slash roll. Or oh, slash roll. Two d4 plus one. Oh my god. <laughs> it's on there. Unfortunately, it's not enough. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, you get as he's like taunting you, you get him like a, 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 a cut across the neck. Yeah. Um, and he recalls, ba he recoils backwards. Uh, he is the next to act. Um, and as he like wipes the the blood away, he says, "Can't you see? You've already lost. Two of your friends are down. Shut the fuck up. Katie, being clobber, <laughs> this is your chance to deal, Joe. Don't you want that? Don't you want everything to go back the way it was? Let us take this." You can have your friends live the fight another day. What do you say? I'm crazy. I am not a sane Hell person. Yeah. I so, am here for one reason and one reason only, and it is vengeance. Okay. Uh, hell yes. Uh, he goes, fine, so be it. Um, uh, he is going to uh, uh, draw, he's still got the pistol, so he's going to try and fire it. You can, you can dodge once more. So there's another, there's another, there's another bang from the room. And he fails. Oh, so again, nice. there's, there's a couple of shots. Um, uh, he's beginning to get to the end of the clip here. Um, Good. So from outside, it's then Clarissa, who just slammed it into his fa into her face. Uh, She's still recoiling in, in, in the doorway, um, and she now gets in position and stops you moving through. As from the back, you hear Trent heading over towards one of the bodies and something slam as it gets moved uh, or like something's being dragged along the floor. Um, Katie, what do you do? Um, I would like to uh, scoop up the fire extinguisher and wallop Clarissa in the face as hard okay. as I can. So you just open it, go for it, make a fighting yep. ball. Uh, bonus die because she has a build below me. Yes. Okay, um, I am going to uh, luck that to a hard. Do you yes. want to use your bonus die first to oh, see yeah, if you roll off? No, you go call. Probably, probably a good idea. No, I will luck that to a hard. Okay, she's going to try and dodge. And she fails. Uh, go ahead and roll a d6 plus your damage bonus. I know. Shoot, All right, Clarissa. I, you got dropped off something before. Let's see how tough you feel after. <laughs> Four points of damage, oh my god, on a d6 plus a d4. It's enough to trigger a constitution roll. And as you go, <laughs> you slam it up against her, and she she like opens the door, she looks back, and she goes, she goes, okay, Trent, just get them down. And then when she looks back, you meet her with the fire extinguisher, slam it up, she recoils backwards and hits the ground uh, out of the fight. Um, uh, that is her uh, finished. Uh, it goes to the top again with Joe. Just stab him again. Okay, go for it. Uh, he's going to... Oh, finally. He's... Yes, an extreme on the knife. He's, he's, going, to, he's going to try and repulse, but he, he can't he can't win it. So, what do we discuss? Uh, go ahead and roll uh, 2d4 plus 1. And it's impaling, right? With a, with a knife? Oh, sorry. Yes, uh, don't roll. Sorry. It is uh, 5 plus a d4 is impaling rules, right? Because the damage bonus doesn't get doubled, but the rest does. Yep. Uh, let me just double check that very quickly. Uh, it impaling this rule is like max famous rule. plus a dice roll plus damage bonus. So, so it's, it it's is a switch five plus Plus two d four. Jesus, that was a big hit. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> Fuck this dude in particular. Uh, okay, so he uh, steps towards you. Uh, he's like he's trying to like fire at you, you dodge between it and he seems to think he has the upper hand because in his head he does he goes it's your last chance Josephine time to Shut deal the fuck up 
into the eye. Ah, oh, it's like close it, jam it into his eye. You carry him over and onto the glass uh, display case and his blood uh, pools from it and across it. Oh, you can shit. see it like staining across. It's all across the glass, um, but just dripping down around uh, the dreaded Necronomicon um, in case just behind it. Sold enough not to be broken, but blood just like sort of pooled all around it. You can wrench the thing back out of his eyeball and look around. Um, uh, that's you. Uh, next to act is Trent, who uh, hears another gunshot, doesn't hear anything, and continues to drag Chaz down the stairs he, boom, 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 as he's moving him away and down towards Seb. Uh, Katie, you will act. Uh, he hasn't looked back just yet. Um, I am uh, going... I think I'm in full try and save the others mode, so I'm can going I... to sprint out. Yes, is there any way I can toss my bag to Katie since she's going earlier? I don't know. Uh, yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can throw oh, it backwards. You could, you could toss me the gun that's on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Do I have time to like scoop the gun up and toss it to her? That's fine. She's close enough. You want to just kick it across? Yeah. Um, I will uh, scoop up the gun. I will uh, sprint out through the fire uh, uh, that is on, scattering books and papers everywhere, uh, and then I'll stop at the top of the stairs, scream, Jason, raise up <laughs> the gun and shoot him. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you uh, run down, you it, and he goes, oh, uh, and he looks around. He's holding Chaz by, like, the boot, dragging him down the stairs. He looks up, uh, he looks at you, and he goes, no, uh, and then you fire. Yep, it's a miss. <laughs> he flinches visibly. Oh, am I point blank range, actually? I was, would have attempted to be. Uh, no, I tell you what, maybe, but with all the, like, there's very yep. dim lighting in here, they'll counteract the two of them. Um, so he fire across, he flinches, the... Uh, um, it now goes to, uh, Joe, uh, Terrence, uh, Laszlo is dead on the ground, um, Clarissa is unconscious outside, and Katie is on the top of the stairs firing down at, uh, Jason Trent, who now drops Chaz's boot, wheels around, and starts to run. Run away? Away. Away. No, no, I would like to rugby tackle him. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, you like, uh, so hang on. You're at the top of the stairs and he's got a big distance. What do you do? Is it like, do you leap on the can banister like, and slide out? Do you leap yeah. over it to just. I was going to say, can I leap over the, uh, like, leap over the banister and just land on him? Yes. Uh, Hell yeah. Take a bonus. Make a. Do you have jump as a skill? How, what's your jump score? Mm, I don't know. It's not good. Jump is base 20. No. Base 20. Okay. Jump is All not right. good. Uh, go ahead and make a fighting brawl test with a bonus size. I will say, if you fail this, you are going to take damage. But oh, take the and if I take, take damage, I'm just, out. For just cleaning this little nerd up. Uh, I think you have a bonus size anyway for size. Oh. So you have two bonus sizes. Oh, there we go. That's a That's success. Good. Okay. Uh, let me Isn't just check. Isn't that, uh, 46? You just need one point of luck. Oh, yeah, true. How much luck do you have? I will, t I will use the one point of luck. After we are low enough where it's like, do you have one? Or <laughs> I have what's one? up? I, I do. Okay. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll uh, a D3 plus a D4. Nope. Can't see it yet. Come on, roll 20. Don't keep us in suspense. Do we love fours? <laughs> we mm -hmm. do love fours. And that is one off it being a major win. So you just body into him. The two of you slam onto the ground and, yeah. he, and he sprawls away, but he begins to scramble up and try and escape. Uh, he is going to run for his turn. He, he darts between the bookshelves, sprinting as fast as he can and getting towards the exit, ignoring everything else. Uh, Katie and Joe, he's trying to run. Which of you follow in a chase and which of you remain behind? The fire is still... Uh, the big pyre that they burnt is still burning. Yeah. Um, the small one is extinguished. Uh, seven chads are, are both like uh, I'll, I'll get the fire. I'll... You need to get the. You need to get the fire. You 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 chase him. Or you do you. <laughs> do we do we care about Laszlo? Not Laszlo. Um, do uh, we Trent. care about him? Trent, do we care? We do I care. Think we do. I think we care. I think we care. All right, I'm gonna get. I'll go get the. I'll go get the man. Okay, so um, Katie's I'm... gonna hang behind, and Joe, you're gonna chase. Mm. Yep. Okay. Um, and uh, is he heading back out towards the front doors? Yes, he is bailing. Okay. Um, all right, uh, Joe, can you go ahead and make a constitution roll? Constitution, okay. Yep, and this is just this is just for your for your movement speed to see if you can outpace him. Uh, oh, two points of luck. Or just, you know, you're pretty quick. Be one slower. Yeah, well, this you, will reduce you'll, you'll your be... move by one. What's, your What's his speed? move? 
Uh, you don't notice yet. Although he's pretty small, he doesn't look over. He doesn't look particularly yeah. quick. I think I'll just reduce my speed by one. Okay. All right. That moves you down to. Sorry, I'm looking at your sheet. Uh, yeah. I will. Oh, we. This is the one we never calculated. Uh, strength and dex both. Your move is nine. That brings you to eight. If he gets an extreme, he can outpace you. An extreme that is not. Uh, he gets to through the first set of doors towards the exploded ones when you catch him. Um, how yeah. do you deal with him? Um, well, I did say that I had the gasoline with me as well. Yep. I, I don't know whether I... I mean, it seems unlikely that I was still carrying it. Large you can, dictionary. You can scoop something English up. English dictionary. Yeah. In yeah. Sedition. You still have a knife. You're I do so still have a knife. knife. I'm just going to stab him. Okay. Uh, as you as you tower over him, he goes, I yield, I yield, I yield, I yield. Okay. That's don't buy it. that shit. No. Okay, um, go ahead. Bonus die. Roll with yeah. bonus dies. Oh. Oh, yeah. There we go. Do you have... Uh, wait, with the oh. seven for an extra. No. Okay. No, I Not don't. There. Okay. Uh, he's uh, going That's to... He'll, he'll, he'll try and dodge. <laughs> oh, yep. my God. These... He tries these to scramble roll. away, and he's continuing to go. He's going, I surrender! I surrender! I, I, I don't want to... I don't, I'm barely part of it. I'll just let me go. I, 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 we can talk and things. Don't kill me! You keep going Literally after anybody else would probably no. All right, uh, you follow after him. Um, don't you don't need to roll. He doesn't have the advantage. He's been disarmed. Uh, you can finish him off. Uh, you've got him cornered uh, in the entrance to the even library. Even if I just knock him out, like even if I just, even if I just like bang his head on the wall enough times to knock him out. Do you want to? Do you want to try and knock him out rather than kill him? Yeah. Okay, in that case, do make a no, final... No, no, I'm getting nods, I'm getting head shakes. Make it, yes. make, if, you, if you want you to do, do that, you. what we'll do, we'll do is kind of, we'll just resolve it with a final fighting brawl roll. If you want to have tried to knock him out, you'll make a single fighting brawl roll. If you fail, it's just that you couldn't, like, finesse it, and he's probably dead. And I just dead. kill him. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I like that. You get him, you slam him against the back. Oh, that is a success, so it's he's, he can be knocked out if you want it. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'll knock him out and then um, I'll probably like take my scarf off and just like, oh, that'll take time to tie him up and shit. I, I, I want to go back and I did see that uh, seven chats were like unconscious on the floor, so I should probably do something about that. Okay. All right. You leave the little nerd in the in in the entrance and, and head back towards the others at this point chaz and seb you're beginning to like like blearily like pull yourself back together um laszlo's dead clarissa and trent are both unconscious um harold elsewhere has been crushed by the elevator there's no uh -huh. sign of noakes or gibbons and outside the chaos begins to abate you can hear sirens as police begin to arrive um what are the next actions in a slightly grander scale this is the next you know few hours resolution drag him back with me mm -hmm. yeah i'm just gonna drag him back into the main room with me and just like toss him on the floor in front of in front of you guys Thank and drag him back with me I think we try and get the I think we try and get the fire out. I think we try and gather everybody up. I think we try and get the hell out of there. And while the restricted section is open, it'll be a real shame. Nah, I can't do it. I trust the Miskatonic University too much. Let's get everybody I, and get the hell out of They've kind of shown that they're not fully got the bed here a little bit. Yeah. It could be uh, that some of these terms are safer with you than with them. I want to. I want to know where Armitage is and if he's okay. But um, that. Um, you you will quickly find both Armitage and Morgan in the in the uh, uh, adjur uh, adjacent office have both been killed. Oh, they're they actually dead. dead? They oh my god! Dead. Okay, been, in that case, moved. that changes things. There's the 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 books are currently unguarded. We're taking shit. Which we case, take what we can carry of the most important and get the hell out of there. Okay. These things need to be kept safe. Uh, do you uh, want to make a library use roll to determine what is the most important? Or sure. we would case. we would have at least seen the ones that Armitage got out for us the first yeah. time. Intentionally, it's, it's a library use roll for exactly. Okay. It's, it's an intentionally obfuscated. Can we all make one? Or uh, yep. Is it? Yeah. Yep. If, if, if that's what people are doing, absolutely. Um, Chaz, what are you doing, Jackson? Uh. What I'm told, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Gather everything up. Get us, get us a cast that we can leave. You know, oh, I'll gather everything oh, nice up. Get a, get a, get a, get a, get a, oh, yes. Thank you, Joe. I'll 
carry some heavy shit. Strength roll. Yeah. Uh, I, roll. Can I grab the device from Armitage's desk? Yes. I yep. will grab that. Okay, you take that. Um, uh, when you open it, you see that there is uh, six small, uh, vaguely marble-looking stones um, arranged in a sort of a like a um, circular pattern, uh, which you can snap closed. And um, does he have his signet ring? Uh, yes, he does. I will take that as well, please. You can pull that off his his finger and pocket that as well. Um, Joe heads in and begins to break open shelf. This is impossible to navigate entirely, and even with yeah. extreme, it's as still... I as I walk past, though, I do point down at old man. I'm like, he's still alive, and just kind of make the hand gesture of like at Trent. Yeah, like whatever you want to do. Like he's still he's still alive, and just we could walk. carry him. But so Clarissa, I believe. So, uh, Joe, you're able to point out all the books that you looked at previously, so you could get any of those ones. And additionally, yep. the Necronomicon is definitely the big uh, so right and so. Uh, that is definitely the, the the biggest and most significant. Um, I'm not touching that. Can we touch it without it like burning our psyches? Who knows? And we saw that there were traps and runes that were shimmering above it. Oh, along we the were. glass, there are there yeah. are faint inscribed crystals, and they didn't it didn't seem to break easily when Laszlo was pushed up against it. Okay. Well, in which case, that's probably fine. I basically, I think that. The rest. Yeah. 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 Okay. Grab the books we grabbed before. Um, mm-hmm. those devices. Are they lying around? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's uh, there's there's three of them. Great. Those okay. zappy motherfuckers. I would like to jam a couple of those, in those as well. But you're leaving uh, the you're leaving the bodies. Well, I, um, we could carry one. I could carry. I could carry Trent. He's only a little. Honestly. Uh. Hmm. So I had, being able to interrogate Trent might be useful. Yeah, all right. Or maybe... Over the shoulder. Maybe, uh, in fact, it's more likely for us to get caught. Why don't we just cut our lush, losses and get the hell out of here? I want to I'm gonna grab him, and I'll drop him as soon as it needs <laughs> to drop him. All right. Okay. But it's worth a shot, I reckon. So you grab as many of the little, like... Uh, uh, lightning things as you can, three of them, jam them in. Uh, the signet ring and the small box of stones, a couple of the books, all the tomes you'd studied previously are all jammed into like a large bag and hoisted over your shoulder, you begin to make your way out. Lazo yeah, is left Armitage dead. Had, like, a big... Lazo is left dead uh, in the restricted collection. Um, I and... space. <laughs> what? Grind your boot into his jaw a bit. Uh, he doesn't seem to move the... or react. Shut the door behind us. Uh, I assume whatever they've done is broken. Clarissa uh, was unconscious when you left hmm. in bad condition. Do you leave her where she is? I she's, um, I would like to push her over the balcony. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, because, will... and this is absolutely what Sev is going down, uh, Machiavelli quite nicely does say, man should either be treated generously or destroyed, because while they take revenge for slight injuries from heavy ones, they cannot. Fuck yeah. Uh, make it, I, make, um, I will get you to make a sanity roll for me. Drop, drop her on Trent. <laughs> uh, I mean, unless like if we're if we're leaving Trent, I will toss both. No, of them no, I want to hold. But if I'm, we're taking, I'm gonna hold Trent. Okay. Does not break a sweat. You good? Jesus, uh, they're not the they're not real people in Seb's head. It's These are yeah. puppets. Uh, you hear it. You hear a crack as the spine breaks on, on, on the lowest ground. And when the rest of you go out, uh, Clarissa's body is crumpled over. Uh, you can't help but think back to, you know, her on the camping trip. She wasn't the most sociable people, but she was friendly to you. And Katie, you remember when she was first pulled away from you in the fog, um, what feels like years, ages ago. Um, Chaz, you've got Trent slung over a shoulder um, and all the books, not including, uh, so you haven't got the Necronomicon and you've left some of the other um, big ones behind. Uh, you begin to make your way I mean, out of the library. Can we grab anything else? Just like a random smattering or do we only get the ones that we- You've got all the ones you've seen previously. The other ones, there's a risk of like, you don't really know what you're tampering with. Uh, you, If you want to, you can say you have a random selection of them as well. There's a limit to how much stuff you can fit. Um, I will grab at least one random tome. Seb wants to know this for, shit. I'll say, I'll, say got, I'll say you've got some, some, some miscellaneous. He gets to repress everything so he can study and it'll be fine. Awesome. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, you grab some like general like stuff and, and begin to jam it in and the four of you all make your way out. It's uh, be pushing towards like 10 p.m. or so now. Um, you can see sirens arriving and people beginning to come out of their madness. There's students like sitting there, like having torn their clothes apart and just looking at the ground and the blood around them, um, shocked 
disoriented and generally confused. Um, from here, the four of you can make your escape. Uh, no one's looked at this just yet, and you're able to slip away before you get attention. And what I want to know from you, we can we can do a clarification in just a moment. Sorry, uh, what I want to know from you is what happens in the next. Where do you go in the next like couple days? And this will be where we leave um, chapter three, uh, chapter two, to all be picked up um, and looked into closer in chapter three. Uh, Jim. I would like to very quickly say, as we're walking past the hall and we do observe all of that, uh, Katie will say, you know, I hope Violet made it out all right, uh, didn't get hurt uh, before we dart away. Um, Seb will, with unnerving calm, mm -hmm. on one hit point, mm -hmm. hail a car mm -hmm. and direct it back to the apartment. Um, and will sequester himself away in his father's study and start to read. Awesome. Uh, Chaz? I think we got to get out of town. Yeah. They, I, my feeling is that there was a huge amount of violence on campus mm. and we didn't leave anyone alive to say it was us. That is 100% why Seb did what he did. Oh, shit, nobody no yeah nobody knows it was us as far mm -hmm. as they know there was violence on campus and there was violence in the library and uh i don't intend to let trent get away from us either uh chaz chaz is gonna get back to the apartment and i guess tie up trent in a chair in one of the bathrooms and wait for him to wake up and just just watch him just sit there and stare at him. I don't care if it takes an hour, two hours, three hours, just a baseball bat next to the chair on the side and just look at him. Is there a level, is there a part of you that is protecting Trent from what you know some of the others might do? You've shown some level of remorse in the past. Are you Are you worried that someone else will just come in and kill him or is this, are you willing no, to do I'm, the same? I'm softening him up for whatever we decide to do next. Okay. Deb is going to need some experimental candidates for whatever spells he's learning, so... Oh, God. Okay, uh, Katie? Um, Katie has been through a lot, um, and she is tired. I think get back to the uh, to Seb's apartment, probably spend a little bit of time sitting, uh, looking at the, the, the night, uh, and, you know, have a bit of a cry to kind of get back into the zone of things. Um, all of this madness, finally there's proof, finally there's chaos, but already so much has been lost. And although she can't exactly remember what happened to Violet, maybe deep down her, her animalistic body knows or something, um, in an attempt to try and get some kind of element of happiness from the whole thing, still in like bloodstained clothes uh, while everyone is still recovering, she will come back, uh, take one of the gramophones from somewhere and play like a nice little jazz song and unless Chaz is too busy watching can we get that dance well I mean Joe is still around and she's more than happy to help yay I think I think Joe Seb can go on Trent watch Seb will also like Seb might come down the stairs and just in this moment lean against the door and just watch the two of them and smile a little yeah all right yay. It's, if it's what helps um if we need to go somewhere that isn't here, my family does have a holiday house. I'm sure we could leave state for a while. There's a lot more we need to look into, and there's a lot more we have to find out. We might have stopped them here, but what they were doing was just trying to bury the evidence. They don't want people to go up looking in those hills, so I think that's probably exactly where we need to go. So, Brattleboro then? I guess, Brattleboro. Lastly, uh, Joe, on how many hit points and how much lost sanity? Uh, Two hit points. 30 sanity. Uh, what do you do? How mad am I still? Did, did that, like, I uh, Definitely. Like, uh, it's not to kill you. Uh, anything? You, it is like you commit yourself to a sanatorium yeah. for a period or get uh, a focused uh, care or, you know, just time. Um, yeah. It is up to you. Time, 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 time is fine. Um, so if I'm still quite mad, I'm more than happy to sit with Trent quite a bit. Um, you know, give 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 others a bit of some alone time. But when I'm sitting with Trent um, quietly, not speaking to him, I am speaking to somebody else, and I'm having 
full conversations with my beloved childhood friend out loud uh, and just chatting away. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I, I, I avenged him. We, we stopped the people from doing more of what they were doing than they did to him and everything's gravy now, everything's fine. So I'm just having some rat chats with my mate John. When we pick up the next chapter, uh, I continue forward. Alex, uh, thank you for joining us for this chapter so much. But um, where are we going to see Joe? Where do you go? Are you still there at the beginning, but mad and unable to be reached? Do you walk away into the darkness um, to find some soldier? Or do you maybe go back by yourself to that old haunted house and just lie on the ground until whatever sanity reclaims you? There is, there is one night, um, because this is over a couple of days, um, and there is there is one night where everybody goes to bed and you get up in the morning and Joe is just gone. She's just she's just left. Do you leave um, No. Ah. Uh, well, she didn't need our company. Uh, she had her own with her, her at all times. So maybe uh, for someone who burst into our lives so suddenly in the middle of a lecture, leaving just as abruptly seems fitting. Probably, Plus, she won't leave. She won't leave a note, um, but she will leave the uh, the the tubes of liquid behind uh, that she'd collected, um, and basically write down what happens when you put liquid oxygen on a gasoline fire. The best parting gift, yeah. and just and just with a little note that just says just in case. The the best parting gift that I've ever imagined. <laughs> But she emptied the pantry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no food left. No. There's absolutely no food. Left. Joe is gone. You have liquid oxygen, and there is no food. Uh, Joe steps need. away, and you probably won't hear for her from her for a while. Mm. Um, she's still talking to John Jeffries, person who she did manage to save. The nightmares do Ish. stop, but um, you know, we die. Um, over the coming days, uh, newspapers will begin to report the events, this massive brawl that erupted uh, at the Miskatonic University. Uh, uh, the four of you are not uh, implicated in this one in any way, although oh. there is a repeated call for Jazz Dedrick to make himself known to investigators. Um, uh and uh, in uh, and you are all being sought by police for attachments to re recent things, and there might be a suspicion that you were involved in that. They just don't know. Um, elsewhere, uh, William Noakes, who claims to be a man called Henry Akeley, meets with Louis Gibbons, waiting in a car nearby, and the two of them depart. Their objective here, which you'll learn in time from Trent, to destroy evidence of the Migo, um, erase it all complete from the campus, was not entirely successful, although they will carry with them a canister containing Professor Learmont's brain, which will be reclaimed from the uh, science annex and spirited away to some unknown destination, surely to be encountered again. Lastly, after several days have passed, after Joe's uh, retreated, um, and the three of you are staying in your home and, and uh, studying some of the tomes you found and thinking about your next steps. Elsewhere, a train pulls up into Arkham and disembarking is a very handsome, uh, blonde-haired man, young, and he's got a newspaper folded over which is spattered with the recent events, the disasters that have just unfolded. Um, and in the other hand, he has a briefcase. He makes his way to the local police station and asks to speak with Detective Luther Harding. The station is in disarray. There's students that have been brought in to be questioned. There's people still wounded. And a lot of the officers kind of went mad during this as well. Some of the people that were brought in for campus. So the whole thing is kind of just in chaos. Um, he talks to the person at the front and says, I'd like to speak with Detective Luther Harding, please. And the woman says, why is that? He says, I'm here about the charges levied against one Sebastian McCarthy, Charles Dedrick, Catherine Wilkes, and Josephine Johnston. Uh, the person at the front says, what do you have to do with those louts? This is an ongoing investigation. He slides a card across the table and it's bright orange and emblazoned on his white is F and C. And he says, well, because I hope soon I'm going to be their close friend. 
and that's where we're going to leave this chapter of A Time to Harvest. Uh, I'll be picked up uh, next week as we launch into chapter three. Uh, that was the full dance. Boy. Oh. It was uh, sure something, gang. <laughs> wow, I think we came very close to a TPK there. Oh, that was intense. real close. Uh, one more of you went down and they were going to start dragging bodies around. So uh, yeah, that was that was right on the line. And Chaz and Seb were definitely the heavy hitters. So well done, Joe and Katie for- um, Yeah, the girls. For, yeah, the girls, absolutely. The boys got knocked out round one. And the girls brought it home. No, well done. That was that was really, really impressive. Um, thank you guys all there so much so for playing. There were so many points where I was gonna chuck my boom things on a fire, but everybody was always close to a fire. They were gonna risk taking out like, everyone. Yeah. Oh, that was fantastic. Um, Thank you so much, Alex, in particular, for, for joining hey. us for this chapter. You're yeah. absolutely fantastic. Thank and you, I'm Alex. sure we will feel uh, Joe's uh, impression throughout the remainder of the campaign. Um, I think she definitely left an impression while we had her here. Um, so, no, a really, really Give excellent portrayal. Awesome. Hopefully, um, we will. Uh... Maybe maybe we'll get to encounter Joe again, or, or maybe maybe someone who shares a passing resemblance to Joe in some way. Oh yeah, Ooh. or Joe can be the villain of someone else's campaign, which is so often how <laughs> investigators end up causing madness <laughs> and, oh. and nonsense afar. Um, so you know, thank, oh, thank you very aim. much. Um, well, also thank you everyone for watching. It was a, it was it was a long chapter and a slow build, but a, a lot of fun. Um, we brought it all to a head, and now we begin to learn what the enemy awaits. You've got tomes, you've got a uh, a hostage, uh, and there's people still looking for you. Um, where we pick up from here, you know, you can look towards Brattleboro, you can look into F and C. We will just fish and chips. Uh, we will just have to see what comes, but we'll pick all of that up next week when we return. Um, <laughs> also, a reminder: we will be doing a giveaway next week, so make sure you tune in for that. And the Rune Quest stream starts next. Week, so that'll be cool as well. Sick, so yeah. freaking sick. I will, yeah. you will see me in chat. And thank you, Dave, for another thank wonderful you, Dave. chapter. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. That was amazing. Hot diggity dog. Amazing. No, it's a hell of a squad. All right. Um, unless there's anything further, Going thank back you to all. Bed. Yeah. Can talk to you later. I'm gonna get out of this dress. <laughs> <laughs> I need oh, something yeah. more comfortable. <laughs> all right. Just Thank you on stream. We'll get, we'll get <laughs> into it. We will get, we will get <laughs> All right. See you all later. Put your nipples away. <laughs>